Hello everyone, we are live again Hi. with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This time, we are going to be ranking all 48 base game tracks. Last week we ranked all 48 Booster Course Pass tracks, and this week we're going to rank all the normal tracks. Uh, we thought about doing all 96 in one stream, but that would have been insane. So... Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go. Let's start from the very beginning. We'll do Grand Prix, 200 CC. And those are our controllers. And let's just get started. Uh, I will start with Funky Kong. Too bad I couldn't use Funky Kong all those years ago when I first got Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. Is that the guy from the Mario movie who drives... You know, towed around. Who who drives them around when they get to Donkey Kong Land? Yeah. It should have been. I think that was a bit of a missed opportunity. I'll be Donkey Kong. I don't know why that wasn't Funky Kong. Wait, you're not. You want me to get you the right track? Yes. Yeah. Here, I'll get you the best one. Did you want to be Wiggler? Yeah. Yeah, you like being Wiggler. Oh, well, is it? Is it? Wiggler's good. Yeah, Wiggler's a good car. I just like. I like the Bitty Bug. All right, so the way we're going to go about this, we're going to go through Mushroom through Special. Then we're going to do Shell through Lightning. And then we're going to do Egg, Triforce, Crossing, Bell. We're going to do it. And these tracks are probably a little longer than last week's tracks, than the Booster Course Pass tracks. So the, Booster Course, the Booster Course Pass tracks had a lot of the City tracks and a lot of the GBA remake tracks that I felt were very short. Right. So our first track is Mario Kart Stadium. So what I'll say right off the bat about Mario Kart Stadium is the same thing I said about Toad Circuit. And the problem with Mario Kart Stadium is that it is a... It's designed to be the first track. And I think that isn't great because the developers purposefully made a simpler track. For the sake of it, like, introducing people to the game. Which, like, I understand in theory why they would do that, but in practice... It just means that one of the tracks in the game is going to be just a simpler track. So, like, usually when you play Mario Kart tracks, you don't usually play them in order. You know, you don't usually, like, start and go through. It's not like it's not like Mario games where, like, the first level is the easiest level. It's like you play them kind of in any order. You play online. You get random tracks. Uh, you play with your friends. And usually when you play with your friends, you don't want to, you know have the first one be Mario Kart Stadium. So I, oh, I just, oh no. Oh no, what happened? <laughs> oh, never mind. I protect myself. I uh, used my super horn too early on the red shell. Oh. So yeah, I think Mario Kart Stadium is just, it's very, very basic. It's, it's, it's quite small. Um, I don't think it's as short as some of those like GBA tracks that I was complaining about, but, and I get blue shells. <laughs> <laughs> But it's definitely specifically supposed to be smaller. I do like the introduction to the zero gravity with that big, you know, upwards thing. Um, this is no, more of like... Ah, oh, I was doing so good too. <laughs> Why is it always towards the end? I always lose. <laughs> no, I guess I always get stuck there. I'm just in third place. <laughs> I can't believe I was in third place and then and then, and then, and then that happened. <laughs> oh, so sorry. I ranked that as bad. Oh yeah. I I lost. D tier, D tier Mario Kart Stadium. All right, we got the water park. Ooh, I want to go to a water park. So what I like about water park is that a lot of Mario Kart tracks do feel like amusement park rides. So I think the water park just kind of takes that and rolls with it. 
get it past all time. So, Water Park, um, obviously, in terms of, you know, it being the second track, it is like introducing you to the underwater mechanic driving is a little different underwater and you you know you slide more and that sort of thing uh definitely a very short track also a very basic track mushroom cup tracks are usually very basic um again i i'm not going to like give them a pass compared to other tracks just because like oh it's the mushroom cup they're supposed to be easy i don't think there should be tracks that are intentionally made shorter because most tracks are played in oh uh, I don't think I should give a pass to tracks that are intentionally made easier because they're early game tracks or Mushroom Cup tracks. Because, you know, most tracks you don't play in succession. Like, most of the time I've played Mario Kart 8 has not been me playing through the game, like, narratively. Like I would a Mario game, where the progression and difficulty is necessary. The Most times I've played Mario Kart 8, I played it online. So you get a track like Water Park or Mario Kart Stadium that's a little easier than others. And, yeah, see, so yeah, I finished that really fast. So you get a track like this that's a bit simpler, and you just kind of feel like you're playing a little bit of a shorter track. Uh, Water Park is a little nicer. I think the fact that it is a simple track makes it a little stunted. There also isn't a lot, like, Mario-ish going on with it. Like, even in this underwater area... You don't really, like, avoid, like, bloopers and stuff for, like, cheap cheeps. Like, there isn't a lot of, like, Mario stuff in it. There's a few, like, amusement park things, but even then there's not that many. There's that little, like, those spinny things that you can go through if you have a boost, and the submarines, and then the Ferris wheel at the end. Like, that's only, like, three things. You know, like, it's a whole water park, <laughs> but it really only shows you, like, three different things. I don't know why there isn't, like, a slide. Like, a water slide would have been cool. Um, yeah, and then, like, you know, it, it, like, they should have, like, made a... I know there's, like, a Yoshi Island track, but they should have kind of, like, you know, made, like, you know, if they have, like, multiple, like, city themes repeating, mm -hmm. it should kind of be, like, you know, Nintendo Water Park, Nintendo Land. Like, you, you get, like, each of the main, like, Mario series games, and you put a easter egg item in there like oh there's little yoshi eggs in the background and bananas for donkey kong i would never played donkey kong like there's a broader like there's a big amusement park with like multiple different tracks in it mm -hmm. yeah i think that'd be pretty cool yeah it was definitely it's lower on the mario stuff than i thought like it's actually kind of generic um i think it could have used a little more mario theming with that being said, I think I'll give it a C tier because the track design was really good. Although it's very short, there are good twists and turns and the times where you get the boost. It's a little obstacle low, which is why I'd give it C and not higher. Um, I don't think it should be D. I think the amusement park part of it is cool enough to push it up into C. So yeah, C tier for water park. I would give it a B because I like water parks. <laughs> you give it a B because you like water parks. Yeah. Ooh. Sweet, sweet canyon. <gasps> a piranha plant. <laughs> I like the gingerbread. It's gingy. I'm trapped. So this, I would say, is like the first track in the Mushroom Cup that is not like supposed to be like an easy track. Like Mario Kart Stadium and Water Park I think are designed to be easy. This one I think is a little, there's a little more to this one. It's not like a particularly difficult track. It's not like you're really gonna be falling off, but there's 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 a lot to this one. Um, there's this, these branching paths here I think um, are interesting because they can shake up if you're gonna like get hit by a shell or something. And this last little section here which I got eaten by the piranha plant. <laughs> it's okay, the piranha plant was hungry. The piranha plant is my friend. Yeah. 
Uh, I do like the theming, the the candy theming. You're in some kind of candy world. So are we world. candy compared to the piranha plants in, in their like perspective? I guess where the candy. I wonder why the piranha plants aren't made of candy. They're just real plants <laughs> in here. I guess they would have looked weird if they were like made of like cookies or something. I don't think so. Missed opportunity, Nintendo. Hire him. Yeah, they should have. The piranha plant should have been made out of candy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> at least cookies. Mm -hmm. Because you have gingerbread cookies in the background. So why can't you have gingerbread... Piranha plants. Like, piranha plants. Mm -hmm. Like, remember that one mod hack we were seeing with all the Goombas? Like, <laughs> you know, couldn't, like, you know... You mean, for, for those that don't know, we were watching a video of a mod of Super Mario 3D World where they made a bunch of Goombas. They changed the Goombas around, changed their properties there around. There so. so many of the babies. So like that, they should have done something with the piranha plants where they were more like cookies. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I, I, I compare this one to, uh, to, um, I compare this one to the ice cream one in the booster course pass. There's a course based around ice cream. And I just think it's funny that we have one course that's based around cookies and cake. And then there's one that's based around ice cream, like, in the same game. And, like, you could only do that when you have 90, 96 tracks, you know? If there was 16 tracks and one was about cookies and one was about ice cream, I'd be like, well, those are, like, the same thing. With 96 tracks, they're, like, distinct enough um, that, they're, <laughs> that they're both interesting on their own. Uh, that being said, I love Sweet Sweet Canyon. Um, I remember I played this track a lot. I think that's the difference between some of these tracks we'll be playing and the Boost Course track pass tracks. I have played these tracks a million times, so I'm going to have much more clear rankings on them because I have been playing them for almost 10 years. Uh, Sweet Sweet Canyon is going to be a solid B tier. Um, I would say it's simplicity and length um, keeps it just a little bit out of A tier, and there are just some other stronger tracks in the game. But I do love its theming. Um, I do think it's a well-designed track. I think there are a lot of... There's a lot going for it. Uh, but yeah, Sweet Sweet Canyon is a B tier. I would give it an A because one, there was Piranha Plants, and that already puts you as, at a B. And then the reason why it gets an A is because it reminds me of the Sugar Rush um, Mountain level from um, the Wrecked Ralph movie. <laughs> remember when they were like in the go karts? I and remember. They were, yeah. I wonder if they were like kind of directly taking that. Oh, probably. <laughs> well, they they borrow so Wreck It Ralph borrowed Bowser. Uh huh. So maybe that was like the exchange. Is Wreck It Ralph was like okay. You can use Bowser and Wreck-It Ralph, but we really like your your candy cookie uh, idea for a racetrack. We're going to use it in our Mario Kart game. And that was like their trade with Disney. Yeah. I think it was a good trade because you know what? We need more Bowser in movies. Bowser is great. Bowser is <laughs> loved. Bowser is life. Okay, so we got Thwomp Ruins. So we got this little kind of jungle-ish track. Um, ancient ruins track. Oh, I forgot to press it. <laughs> no boost for me. No boost for you. No boost? No boost. Oh man. I thought that was, I saw somebody get a, a mushroom or lose a mushroom and I thought that was me gaining a mushroom. <laughs> so I always found Thwomps to be a strange obstacle in Mario Kart. Just because of the nature of Thwomps, like their whole thing is they fall down and crush you like in the moment. Oh no! Did I lose my coin? I had a little protector. What? Oh, I didn't know I could cut there. I think the Womps and Mario Kart, their thing is more that they get in the way of you, so you have to kind of avoid them. Oh. Oh. And the oh. risk is more that rather than them, like, literally crushing you. So it's more about getting out of their way. Um, 
That being said, I think this is this is a really well designed track. Like I, I really do enjoy uh, this track. I think there's a lot of obstacles in a good way. Like I think there's a lot. I, I like the abundance of obstacles. The first three tracks in the Mushroom Cup, they're a little um, obstacle light on them. You know, they're a little they're a little light on the obstacles. Like even that like Sweet Sweet Canyon. There's like the piranha plants at the end. And that was kind of it. Um, and the first two tracks had basically no obstacles at all. And this one you have to avoid the thwomps, which I very much do like. Am I in second? Am I going to get in second on this? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Go, 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 go. I'm not in second. I'm in 12. I'm just cruising, but I'm cruising. I can't believe I got second on Thwomp Ruins. I am a disgrace to Mario Kart. I can't believe I got first place last time. <laughs> I've never got first place. I mean, academic, sure, but like, <laughs> video games, no. That's depra- I didn't get a perfect score on the Mushroom Cup? Wow. Uh, anyway, uh, B tier for Thwomp Ruins. Um, I really like Thwomp Ruins. Um, it's not the most interesting looking track. I think they could have done more with the Ruins. I think, um... I can think. Well, I definitely liked it. Um, I was able to find, I think it was a shortcut, but I'm not even sure. Maybe I broke something in the game. <laughs> it was oh, a shortcut. It was a shortcut? Mm hmm Okay, I did like that. There was a shortcut, so it gets a B for B. I did not like how bad I played. So instead of, you know, instead of admitting that it's a skill issue, why don't we just admit it's a game design flaw? Yeah. It's, it's you their know, fault. You know, Nintendo, if... If, if you expect, you know, your people to get good at play, then you need to teach us how to get good. You understand that? We can't just get good unless you give us a tutorial on how to get good. Because you can't just say get good and not teach us how to get good. Okay, Flower Cup starts with Mario Circuit. Which is a Mario Kart track and also a Smash Bros. course. Ah. Smash Bros. stage, not course. Courses are tracks. This track is also a Smash Bros. stage. Yay, no explosion. I can tell that they saved Mario Circuit for the Flower Cup. I think Mario Circuits are usually in the Flower Cup. <laughs> They aren't usually in the, um, in the, Mario circuits aren't usually in the Mushroom Cup. I think they usually are in the Flower Cup. Yeah, something like, whenever it's like, um, Mario circuit or Luigi circuit, Mario and Luigi circuits, um, are always like the generic grassland tracks. It's always what they would call the generic grassland tracks. Um, we got some Goombas, we got some, oh, I hit some bananas. We got some Goombas, we got some piranha plants that come out of the pipes. Um, it's a little low on obstacles, but not too low. Uh, great twists and turns. It definitely relies a little bit on having track memorization. And also, I think a cool thing about this, I'm getting blue shelled. Uh, a really cool thing about this track is the way it uses zero gravity. The way it's designed is you are actually going... Oh. You are actually going around and under the track, uh, which I think is a really cool detail. <laughs> One problem with um, zero gravity is that to you, from your perspective, you're not really driving that much differently. Like right now, I'm upside down. What? And like, I don't even really know that I'm upside down is the funny oh. thing about it. You know? Oh, come on, Hitler. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't even know that I'm upside down, and that was kind of a weird thing about the zero gravity. Um, is that it doesn't feel like zero gravity. They probably tried it like that, and it was probably really awkward to race upside down, to watch the screen upside down. So that's probably why it doesn't look like that. I think the zero gravity is still a really cool mechanic, regardless. Um, and you could see, like, the castles upside down, and the way that the course's designs are going upside down. Um, man, I think... I think this might be an A tier track. Um, very, yeah. I'm gonna call. It, uh, I'm gonna have to call it a B tier. I was really close. To, it's definitely a high B tier, but I was. 
it is very standard you know it's 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 that standard grassland track i mean you have to have a grassland track at some point like it is mario kart something's got to be a grassland track <laughs> at some point um so i shouldn't give up points off i guess just because it's a regular grasslands track and for a grasslands track it is pretty cool and it uses the zero gravity really well and has good twists and turns a little light on obstacles you know what i think i'm gonna give it an a i think this is an a tier track i think it's very solid so a tier for mario circuit so i just have a question on like the architectures like the the you know all that mm -hmm. so when they were designing this level were they like oh um you know we are going to build this track under the roads of the mushroom kingdom so in the mushroom kingdom is it a double road uh, I think this is specifically a Mario Kart racetrack. I don't think this is, like, a real road within, like... Like, I don't think, like, Toads, like, drive on this road to get to work. I think this okay. is a this is a racetrack. I think um, Princess Peach um, and Bowser, who, who they... Princess Peach and Bowser both pay for uh, Mario Kart, as we as we established last time. And uh, Princess Peach and Bowser, they, they pool their coins together... And they uh, they make tracks, so I think this is one of the tracks that they designed. So they designed it specifically to go uh, below and stuff. And I think the castle is like a fake castle. Like, that's not Peach's real castle. It's not like uh -huh. there's a Mario Kart track outside Peach's castle. It's just based on Peach's castle. Oh, I guess, I guess that's, yeah. that's true, because, like, that would, that would probably be bad if a banana hit the castle. <laughs> the castle, yeah. Or if somebody's tire wheel blew off yeah you know you also you can't have that you know that much Noise around the pollution. real castle i mean imagine like imagine the security clearance you have to have you know imagine like the secret service that you oh have to have gosh. like imagine you got, how many like weapons they're fighting on bowser yeah you got peach you got daisy and you got bowser you know you got these royals who are racing um and you know, you can't use the real castle. Like, it's a it's a fake castle. You can't have that many Mushroom Kingdom citizens just coming up to Peach's real castle. You know, you need a lot more security clearance for that. Well, I'm going to rate it at a B, because mm -hmm. you said Bowser. <laughs> no, but... B for Bowser. No, but I'm going to give it a B, because I kind of do like that the castle's upside down. I just think it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. We got Toad Harbor. There's a cool little detail in Toad Harbor. There's a Peach Statue of Liberty. I didn't know that the Mushroom Kingdom was that big. <laughs> I guess for all of the immigrants from the Bean Bean Kingdom and the Flower Kingdom, they come and they see the Lady Peach Liberty. And it fell in the water. <laughs> I was distracted by the little details of Mario Kart. I've been playing this game for almost 10 years just noticed that there was a Statue of Liberty Peach. Um, nice touch. I probably would have not noticed that. I have... Well, when you say you played this game for 10 years, do you mean this game specifically? This game specifically. Mario Kart 8 came out in 2014. So I've been playing it for almost 10 years. Nine and a half years. Came out in May of 2014, and I got it right when it came out. So yeah, I've been playing these tracks for almost 10 years. Uh, some of the tracks came out in DLC a little later, like the last four cups, <laughs> through the bomb in the water. Uh -oh. Well, those toad fishermen are eating well tonight. <laughs> Yo, it inked me. You get blooped. Uh, yeah, I've been playing these tracks a really long time. So, Toad Harbor is interesting. Toad Harbor, obviously, this is before... The, oh, angry. <laughs> this is before the abundance of city tracks. So any, like, Mario Kart track that takes place, like, in, you know, kind of a normal town or a normal city, I now, like, raise an eyebrow to because there's so many city tracks in the Booster Course Pass. Um, I made a whole video about it I, on the main channel, the Game Cubicle, if you want to hear my thoughts on the city tracks in the Booster Course Pass. Um... We're not really going to talk about them now because they aren't relevant, because this was before them. Um, as far as this being a track goes, I mean, obviously it is like kind of like a normal town. It feels a lot like Disneyland. 
You know, doesn't this feel like kind of you're in Disneyland? Fake. Yeah. Uh, the trolleys are a very cool obstacle. Um, oh yeah, this feels like Toon Tip. Right <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will usually um, complain about a lack of obstacles. I think just having the trolleys is good. I think there could have been a little more with the trolleys. They could have been a little more overbearing. You know, the trolleys are very easy to get out of the way. I don't think I hit hey, them. Hey! Third place! <laughs> Good job, sweetie. Thank you. I don't think I ever hit a trolley uh, throughout the whole time. But this is a good track. It's got a lot of twists and turns. Um, I love the atmosphere. Uh, I love the way they use the zero gravity. And also, there's a little bit of mushroom iconography that does place this very much in the Mushroom Kingdom. There could have been a little more Mushroom Kingdom stuff in it. Um... But all in all, I think this was a great track. I'm going to give this one an A tier. I think this is the first A tier. I'm giving... Oh, no, Mario Circuit was also an A tier. Yeah, Flower Cup, really solid. Some of these tracks are really good. Like these base game tracks, uh, they did a good job. The base game Mario Kart 8. There are some really good tracks that now I'm like nostalgic for. It's weird because this is the most recent Mario Kart, like technically, and I'm nostalgic for these tracks because I played them when I was, you know, like... When I was like 14 or 15, when I like first played these tracks, I was so young. And now I'm playing them and this is still the most recent Mario Kart they made. Unless I guess you count the Booster Course Pass as a whole new game, which I, I it's not. But um, but yeah, Toad Harbor, great, great track, uh, A tier. So I have a question. Yeah. Isn't it like three New York cities? Wouldn't this also be New York City because you see the Statue, <laughs> you see the Statue of Liberty? This looks nothing like New York City. I don't know why there's a Statue of Liberty because there are palm trees, which th those aren't in New York. So I don't know why they decided to put a peach Statue of Liberty. Unless it's Disney and that's supposed to be like the, um, like there's a Mickey statue. Yeah, this place looks but, nothing like New York City. Like, <laughs> like it's weird because the Princess Peach feels like the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. The, Maybe no, that they is have a, to do it like that in order to... It, it is a peach statue of liberty. It's just none of this is anything like... New York does not look... There aren't trolleys in New York. Trolleys are in San Francisco. For the British people. Well, I mean, there were trolleys in like 1910 in New York, but <laughs> there aren't anymore. So yeah, the peach statue of liberty is a little out of place. That is true. Um, I think it's a cool detail regardless, but yeah, that's definitely... That's definitely strange. Uh, I guess there isn't really, like, another, like, track that's a lot like New York. They don't have, like, Mushroom City in this one. Um, and even then, that wouldn't have, uh, there's no, like, ocean in Mushroom City. I, I like the Princess Peach. If you, if you don't think about it for more than, like, five seconds, the Princess Peach Statue of Liberty, because most people just be like, oh, that's cool, Princess Peach Statue of Liberty. They don't, like, overanalyze it like we do, where it's like, Well, I need to know the what the lore is. I love lore like, oh what like the he, lore is yeah like why did they decide you know is this their new york city like during a certain timeline and then it expanded into the new york cities that we have from the future tracks you know? yeah I, i'm i'm not sure but um yeah there are palm trees so this is definitely not new york city it's definitely well, I mean, not there's the palm trees here and they don't belong here like, but they can grow here palm trees sure. could not grow on on the east coast like oh. You would plant a palm tree and it would die. It would not survive. Like, you could at least plant a palm tree here and it would live. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that does imply that there's some kind of immigration to the Mushroom Kingdom. Like, from, like, maybe, like, the Bean Bean Kingdom. Which is weird, because you don't really see, like, you've never seen, like, the Poplins uh, from the Flower Kingdom of Mario Wonder. I mean, I guess they're new characters, so... <laughs> of course you wouldn't, but maybe in future Mario games you'd see Poplins, you know, like in Mario Kart. And that's, you know, when they immigrate, they, they get on the boat and they see the, the Statue of Peach Liberty. Um, so that's that's probably the lore to that. The lore. Alright, Twisted Mansion. This feels like an amusement park ride. This track is... This track is straight out of Disneyland, and... I don't know, I don't remember Disneyland being that cool. <laughs> like, I haven't been to Nintendo Road, and it's like, and I forgot to press hold. Love the door opening uh, at the beginning of the track, the ominous door opening. 
you were saying about Nintendo World? Oh, I, I w so I was, you know, talking smack about Disney, because they're not <laughs> uh -huh. going to sponsor me. <laughs> Why would they? Um, what do you call it? The, um, the, um, what do you call it? Um, no, I feel like this, you know, Nintendo World would be, um, um, would, would be Disney anytime. <laughs> Even though it's so small in, in Hollywood, I mean, I haven't been there yet, but, um... Oh, someone's getting blue shelled. Like, I've seen... I've seen the pictures. My brain is so confused because of the visuals. I'm like... Yeah. This track is great. You actually, the booze and the fish are not actually obstacles. They are decorations. Oh, really? Can I hit the booze? Is it possible? The fact that I'm... Oh, oh, no. I just screwed myself up trying to see if I can hit the booze. Yeah, I don't know if you can actually hit the booze on the end flying. I keep hitting the banana. I, I try to. But I don't have good aim. Okay. I gotta pull this together. Uh, Design-wise, though, this is a really good track. Like, it just... The turns are very... You know, you gotta, you gotta really memorize this one. So that you can hit the turns right. Um, okay, let's just keep it up. Keep it up. Up, oh, zapped. Okay, let's Aww. keep it up. Keep it first. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't think you. Oh, uh, okay. The fact that I, I don't know if you can hit the booze, but the fact that I have to try to hit the booze is. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Please yeah. help! Right before the finish line. Okay, let it be known. That I got in third because I got blue shell. Did you throw that blue shell? Did you throw the blue shell at me? Yes. You threw the blue shell at me. You got me in third. Why do you think Wiggler was happy and I was clapping? You got me in third. Oh, getting blue shelled right before the finish line. That's Mario Kart for you. No, that's, that's... your girlfriend having her, her, her villain arc era. That's classic Mario Kart. Uh, Twisted Mansion. Oh... Is it the first S tier of of the bass tracks? Ah, oh, cause spooky. No, this is an S tier track. This this track is really good. Uh, I love it. Maybe could have used a bit more obstacles, a bit more references to other ghostly Mario things, but it's still really solid. I love it. I think it's really beautiful. Light is a little dark on it, but I I think even despite some of those little nitpicks. I say this is a nest gear track, very strong track. And then at the end with the the hammers, like that's that's a really good ending obstacle. Uh, I mean, it got me before I got blue shelled. I got hit by a hammer. Get blue shelled. Oh, I got blue shelled. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Yeah. You should have just got good. I should have just got good. I should just yeah. avoid the the luck based blue shell. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe I got blue. You know what? That. I'm not going to win most of the time. However, I can take others down with me, then that's all that matters. Shy Guy Falls. I think the last track of the Flower Cup should have been Twisted Mansion. I don't know why Shy Guy Falls is the is the finale to the Flower Cup. I think they should have switched. Oh, and I'm playing as Shy Guy for Shy Guy Falls. That's nice. I'm playing as a Wiggler. <laughs> You're I'm just a Wiggler. A baby. Uh, yeah, Shy Guy Falls... Um, Visually, oh, he hit the baby. I mean, visually, personally, I love these kinds of visuals. Like, because I just, I love mountains and waterfalls and old prospector places. I've been to places like this, like, um, like mine places, you know, a little like kitschy ones. Like, I went to one up in, uh, whoa, whoa, okay. Uh, like, I've been to a place like this. We went up to, uh, New Hampshire when I was a kid. Went to where the, the man in the mountain used to be. And it was a lot like this, and there's those little things for the kids where they do, like, spelunking, and they give you a little, like, thing of dirt. Spelunking? Yeah, there's this little thing uh, that they have at places like this. They're, like, old mine, old mine and towns places. They're very, like, historical places. And there's a thing they gave me where it's, like, you got, like, a big thing of dirt, and you put it, like, in water, and you had, like, a little, like, hammer, and you chipped away at it. And it, it like, revealed, like, little gemstones. And, uh, like, I was, like, 12 at the time, 
and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so lucky I found all these gemstones. Like, they must be worth, like, thousands of dollars. And my mom had to be like, no, it was just, it's just for kids. It's just, a, it's just, it's just a game. It was just a little thing. Like, I thought, so you're like, how about, how, I, thought how I was you rich. get your $12 back that you spent? Yeah, it was probably more than $12 to do it. I don't, I don't know what it cost. Hey, it was really fun. It was, it was worth it. I, I enjoyed I've it a lot. i those at, um, I think they do them. I heard they do something like that at not. Yeah, this does remind me of Knots a little bit, too. Like, I've, I've never done them. They looked fun, though. This last section of Shy Guy Falls, when I play online, I always get tripped up. I've been playing this game for almost 10 years, and the last section of Shy Guy Falls I always have trouble with. <gasps> um, I did really well on it just now, but I've usually had a lot of trouble with it. Um, Shy Guy Falls... Man, some of the stuff is really cool. I like the way they use the river... I do like the atmosphere. The Shy Guys are a little underused. The Shy Guys themselves aren't obstacles. I love the way that they're you hear the Shy Guys' voices in when you get close to the Shy Guys, they go like meh, meh, meh. As you get close to them, that's awesome. Man, I thought this track was gonna be lower, but replaying it. Yeah, you know what they should have done? I see the Shy Guy on the minecart. They should have had you, the minecart should have gotten in your way. Like there should be a part where you had to avoid the minecart. That's that's for sure. Uh, I'm gonna give this one an A. Yeah, I think this is an A tier track. Flower Cup really did well. That's three A's and an S in the Flower Cup. So that's my highest ranked cup, even with the booster course pass. Um, they did a good job on the Flower Cup. What's your ranking on Shy Guy Falls? Mm, well, I lost, so you know I'm fine. No, but, um,. C. C? Yeah, Shy Guy. You're not a fan of Shy Guy? No. <laughs> what I... about track design? The waterfall and the... I've never seen a waterfall, so... <laughs> oh, look, I got 55 points. I have unlocked a new character. <laughs> what? How did I unlock a new character? <laughs> We've unlocked a new character? Is it is it Gold Mario? I think I might have gotten enough coins to get Gold Mario. I I have had this game since the Switch launched. You know why? Because I really only play online. I have not played it normal mode. So I think I think it's Gold Mario. Let's see. Gold Mario! Yep. <laughs> That's so funny. I didn't have Gold Mario. I just unlocked Gold Mario on stream. That's hilarious. <laughs> I never had Gold Mario until now. Well, I gotta play as Gold Mario. <laughs> I want to play a Silver Mario. Oh, yeah, Gold and Silver Mario. I, that's so funny. Like, I just didn't unlock him. Because I didn't... I, I play online. Um, I think I unlocked him in the the Wii U version. Because I played I played this on the Wii U for, for years. But, uh, yeah, I unlocked Gold Mario. I finally got enough coins, I guess. Because uh, I didn't usually play the, the base game... Um, you know, I don't usually just play the tracks and, like, just do the cups. I would just play online because I played all the cups in the Wii U. Um, I also probably play... I played a lot of the Booster Course tracks when they came out. I would play them normally. So that's probably why I unlocked Gold Mario is I played through all of them. All right. Star Cup. Um, Star Cup. Where y'all can be some superstars. Superstar Cup. Superstar Cup. I think that's so funny that I... Uh, for those that don't know, the way you unlock Gold Mario is to get... Uh, a certain amount of coins. Oh, I don't know how many coins it is. I will have to uh, amend that at some point and like edit in how many coins that I actually got to get Gold Mario. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is more proof that that um, Illumination did us dirty with the Mario movie. Why like, is that? I mean, even Metal Mario has cake. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still complaining about Mario's butt <laughs> yes. in that movie? Yeah. I'm also mad that Peach rejects Bowser for a plumber. <laughs> like, what's so bad about Bowser? <laughs> like... I would take him any day over Mario. Like, he has money. 
He has a castle. You know. He has a huge heart. He's not voiced by Chris Pratt. Yeah, he's not voiced <laughs> by Chris Pratt. You know, he definitely is alt to some point. Oh! <laughs> he just got blown up! Hey, I, I think I, I think at Sunshine Airport, I don't think you should be able to get the bob on item in Sunshine Airport. Because, like, it's an airport. So, like, the babam should be banned. <laughs> you think that would be, like, just like a little coding thing where it's like, yeah, you just, you get, did you just blue shell me again? Blue shelling me. <laughs> but, yeah, they should have not had the babam appear in Sunshine Airport. Um, anyway, I should actually rank this track instead of us talking about the Mario movie and whether or not they should have bombs um, in the item boxes. No, we should keep <laughs> complaining about Mario's flat butt. I'm still disappointed. But sure, yeah. I guess if you want to talk about <laughs> more sophisticated things. <laughs> uh, so, Sunshine Airport. I'm going to have to rank Sunshine Airport in a moment. Uh, Emily, entertain the masses. Talk about... Mario's butt. Talk about... <laughs> um, talk about whatever you like. Nope, I need to be back soon. Talk about whatever you'd like. Um, I need to answer something. Okay. Hello, everybody. We are just scrolling around. Well, I don't know why I'm still control. So over here right now, I was just still controlling the control little these thing even bobbers, and I'm like, oh yeah, even though the game's over, I have to still keep pressing it, and I just realized, well, that was dumb. And no, I do not have a thing for Mario. I have a thing for Bowser. This is what happens when you let me talk about anything. I'll keep it on topic, <laughs> but I'm making it stuff I want to talk about. You so, guys set rules in place. For our live viewers, we're about to get back to Mario Kart, but the reason that I'm uh, taking a second right now is that uh, we actually, uh, I might be on a, a set tomorrow. Um, I thought it was going to be tonight, but it might be tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow at 7 p.m. in San Gabriel. Ooh. Which is not far from your school, so I'm taking uh, M to school tomorrow, but it's at 7 p.m. Um, your class goes until like 5.30 usually. Do you know that you'll be able to get out by 5.30? Probably. All right. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, M and I are actors. We uh, we live in Hollywood. Um, I, uh, I also am a freelance photographer, but when I am on my off times, I am doing acting. And I had to keep my phone on even during the stream. Because uh, I have a little bit of an acting opportunity tomorrow to be a um, to be to be in a in a film. Uh, so I'm going to respond to this person, but don't worry, I'm gonna rank Sunshine Airport. All right, you will hear my opinion soon. Um, but you're, you're sure we're we'll be able to get there. You'll be able to uh, make sure you're out of class by 5:30. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Um, and uh, and I'll ask if they if they want you on set as well. Um, of course they will. You just gotta send them my headshots. I would love to. So yeah, I would rank this as a hmm, as a B, but that's only because I know nothing about airports and flying and all that. I've only been to um, what's the capital? Sacramento, right? Yeah, I've only been to Sacramento. And that was for a school project, pretty much, a school competition. So it doesn't really count as traveling if it's, you know, if it's in the same, you know, state. Okay, Sunshine Airport. Um, so, Sunshine Airport, uh, I think, is an awesome track. It definitely lacks a little bit of Mario stuff. I think it makes up for it with, like, being an airport. I think an airport track is super cool. Um, I think like the flying angle, like I, I love this part right here with the flying and then you see the airplanes and I love airports. I love flying. I know some people like hate airports and are like, uh, but you know, an airport, you wait around. I love airports. Uh, Emily and I are going to go to an airport soon Yeah. Uh, because I'm going to be flying to New York to, uh, see family mm -hmm. for Christmas. But 
I love airports and I love Sunshine Airport. I think it's a very well designed track. I think the way that they use the airplane stuff, it makes up for not having Mario enemies. Not every track has to have like Goombas going around, you know? Not every track needs to have a chain chomp. So like, I think this is a great example of that, that a good Mario Kart track can just use something like airplanes, you know? And like, it's super cool. Like you're racing around in go-karts in an airport like and there's planes flying around like i I, mm -hmm. I think it's super awesome uh i think i think sunshine airport i don't want to be too generous with the s tiers uh, i do love this track though i know there's going to be another s tier in this cup i'm gonna oh i'm really i'm gonna give it an a I might promote it to S in my final review when I when I edit all these together and do a final review. But for now, I'll say it's an A, but it's a great track. I love it. I think it's a good track, too. Yeah, I don't need to commentary on it because I don't really fly. <laughs> so I can't really compare it. I liked it. It was good. Mm -hmm. I didn't play good. <laughs> Is that a dolphin? <laughs> dolphin shoals. <gasps> Jellyfish. Oh, that's spooky one. That my friend. That the eel all right, the eel gives this track points. Like just the, the oh, racing definitely. on an eel. Um Well that eel's my best friend. You know, we go all the way back to 64 DS. <laughs> that's the first time I've seen him. Also, I love Dolphin Shoals' music, but I think that this I think that this is a track. I think that this is a track that is hurt by the whole thing where, um, I, I think that this is a track that is hurt by the whole thing where the music changes uh, underwater. Like I think that that really hurts it because this track has really great music, both underwater and above water. Um, but because it's constantly changing from going above and below water, you don't really get to experience either music very well, because the music changes when you go underwater. And I notice that the most in this track, because I love both, mu both music. I love the above water music a little more. Um, but I will say that that is one slight problem with the music. I love the, the above water music of this track is an absolute classic. Like I will listen to it while I like am writing and stuff, because mm -hmm. it's a really good music track. Um, I think this is a great water track. Like, it's it's a little better than Water Park. Water Park was like the introduction water track. I think Water Park walked so Dolphin Shoals could run. You um, can swim. <laughs> yes. It died um, so it could swim. This part's super cool with the pipes going up and the eel. Um, the eel is super cool, and I'm about to get blue shelled, <laughs> and kaboom! I'm tiny, I'm blue shelled, and I'm in second place. <laughs> Can it get any worse for Gold Mario? That one was not me this time. I wish it was, but it wasn't. Yeah, take that pink gold peach. I am the superior Gold Mario. Uh, yeah, this is a great track. This is uh, this is an A tier track. I'd say. I'd say it's an easy A tier. Yeah. For sure. Um, it just is, it uses a lot of Mario stuff really well. The dolphins going through the, the hoops and then the eel. Like, it's it's a great track. I'm really happy I got fourth place. Oh, yeah, Emily, uh, they, they want you on the set too. Yay! Uh, can, you, can you cry on command as an actor? No. No? Can you like, but like, I mean... I don't know if it has to be like real tears, but like crying ability. Like, can I like be like whiny where it's believable? Yeah, well, it's not whiny. I think it's uh, you just have to you have to cry in the in the scene. Like we have to cry together in the scene. Like like you're mourning. Yeah, I, I don't know specifically. I, I don't I have details. I cannot make tears come out of my face, okay. but I can like, like, cause crying is when tears come out of your face. Yeah, that is what the definition of crying is. Now, if you mean mourning, do, do you think, like, mourning, like, like that feeling, like, when, like, the sadness, like, the intensity, like, where they're like, ah, like, that thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. But that's not hard. Just actually crying 
I don't know how to make the tears come out. Gotcha. I can cry on command uh, as an actor. Um, I've had to do it a few times in oh, uh, really? theater. Yeah, I did it in the acting class. Uh, first time I ever cried on command in a TV sh uh, TV show in theater. Uh, I was uh, 16 and I, I cried on command in a, in a musical. Um, I played a, a father who lost his son and uh, I had to cry in the funeral scene. Um, so I've known how to cry on command since then. Uh, it's kind of my little parlor trick as an actor. I, I feel like they should change the words. They'll call it. Can you put on tears on command? Because crying on command, like, I, don't, I think they use that name to make it rhyme better. Cry on command rather than can you produce tear droplets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it's like, okay, you, you want me to sound sad like somebody who just, like, you know, witnessed a death. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, yes, I can sound like that. I'm going to say we both can cry and be very emotional. Yes. You know, I, I hope uh, I hope our viewers find this like interesting. I know this is a little off topic, like just that, you know. But I I got I got to conduct my business, you know. I got to conduct my acting business, you know. You know, you know, you know what usually it. makes me sad? Certain music. If if I listen to certain like songs from my emo playlist, and uh, it's been so long um, from the Living Tombstone mixed with Henry's speech, that always gets me in tears. His speech, <laughs> like oh. Yeah, we'll listen to that on the way. You, okay, you we'll know what? Yeah, way. that that that's actually probably good. I'll listen to all my sad music and be like, Henry. <laughs> all right, let's 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 keep going. Let's go. Electrodome, man, these tracks are great. Mario Kart Eight. I I am getting a new appreciation for these Mario Kart Eight bass tracks. Electrodome is a great track. Do, 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 do. Oh, I gotta tell them your name. Alright, we'll just pause real quick. For... Hold on. Uh, Emily Rufo Kaba. My name is No. My yeah. number is No. I'm um, No. No, no, no. It's great. And, okay, so, Electrodome. Um, I mean, it's Mario characters in a club like <laughs> i think that's awesome uh it's not used very much like it's not used as an obstacle and i fell off it's not used as an obstacle um there's in fact like i feel very separated from the club because i keep falling off uh, i've never fallen off this much on this track like it's like the the club itself is like on a screen like you can see the koopas and shy guys dancing and you know what good for those shy guys all right getting out of the house and going to the club that's some character development for shy guys you know they were shy all right probably wasn't very easy for them to come out here and dance with some koopas but but they they did it all right good for you shy guys um so huh <laughs> wait so they have clubs mm -hmm. in mario they have clubs yeah the, the electrodome yeah there's the club oh I've never been to the club. <laughs> I, I frankly don't want to. It's boring, loud. Um, but I mean, the atmosphere of this track is really cool. I think the reason that the Shy Guys are on a screen is because... Oh no, there's some dancing Shy Guys up there. You can see them dancing. Um, it's not just on the screen. So never mind, uh, you can see them. Uh, I think it kind of would have been cool if you had to like drive through the dance oh, floor. Oh, there's dancing piranhas. Yeah, there's dancing piranhas. That's gonna give it a bump in your in your book, huh? Yes. And also, the piranha plants are like disco piranha plants. Like they they are different piranha plants. Wait, I have a theory. What if every time we go over this track, like around like these tracks, we're actually providing the music with our racing? <laughs> Like we're powering it? Yeah, what if we're powering the club? Like we're the entertainment. And it's kind of pixelated through there because it's like we can kind of see inside the club. Mm -hmm. But we're outside the club because we provide the entertainment. Mm -hmm. We are the entertainers. Mm -hmm. Well, I absolutely love Electrodome. Um, I'm a huge fan. Uh, I'm going to give that nest here. It's just the atmosphere of it, like the the... The way that the music works with it, the lighting, the 
the piranha plants being all like special there could have been a little more with the piranha plants like coming at you like i think the piranha plants could have been used just a little bit more but that doesn't bring its ranking down um down out of this tier like it's really s solid Ah, uh, yes, the Electrodome. Yes, the Electrodome. <laughs> we got a chatter who also likes the Electrodome. You a fan of the Electrodome? What's your favorite uh, Mario Kart 8 track? I like the Chris. Wiggler one. You like the Wiggler one? Yes. Alright, our next one is Mount Wario. What? Man, the Star Cup is even better than the Flower Cup. I am so surprised. The base, like, four cups for Mario Kart 8. I, I don't remember, like, how much I like these tracks. These are amazing. Na, 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 na. <laughs> do, do, do. So, what I love about Mount Wario is that it is a track that is not three laps around one track. It is one giant track where you go down a mountain. Uh, and you start at the top, like in that plain. And it's just you're going all the way down the mountain. And I love how it starts and you're like on ice. And like, did I get the shortcut? Did I get the shortcut? Yeah, nice. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> you didn't get the shortcut? No. You start on ice, and then you, uh, yeah, you go in this little cave, and it just, and eventually it gets to snow. So like, it's almost like it's getting like less cold as you're going down. But this is, this is one of those tracks where there aren't really obstacles. Like you don't see like Mario enemies. It's more like you're racing against the track itself. But since this is like a one mega track, you really have to memorize how the track goes and make your path through it. I have a pretty consistent path that I take through Mount Wario. Oh, this part with the trees is like the hardest. So like every little section is just like a new thing you have to go up against. Yeah, now you're getting towards the bottom. It was all the oh, snow. Oh, sorry, you had to hit the wiggler. The wiggler's my uh, baby. And I got booed. All I got was a banana. You stole my banana? Yeah, you deserved that took my banana. I was trying to hopefully get a blue shell. Yeah. Boo was like, oh, these are pretty cool bananas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Boo took another banana. Boo really, Boo really likes bananas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mount Wario is an S tier track. It might be my personal favorite track in Mario Kart 8. I don't think it's what I'll rank at the top because I don't think it's like a number one spot like in general even though it's my personal favorite I think if I'm like really objectively ranking them I don't think that's number one um it could be it's definitely a contender I really love Mount Wario yeah I'm a big fan of Mount Wario big big fan of Mount Wario big fan of Mount mm -hmm. That's an S tier track right there. All right, let's move on to Special Cup. Wow, the base tracks. Like, it's actually interesting. Yeah, three star, first place. First playing place. well. Uh, it's really interesting playing Mario Kart 8 this way, where I'm like really objectively trying to look at every track and ranking them. Because I don't usually play it like this. I usually play Mario Kart 8 online. I play, I like online mode, so that's usually how I play the game. Um, but, like, playing it like this is, is different. It gets me a different look at the tracks. Uh, and just seeing, like, card? huh? Mm hmm. That's the correct card. Yeah, because I remember you said he's heavy. Um, heavy, light, they're all good on the Wiggler card. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know that much about the stats. Someone correct me if I don't know. Like the st if it's like no, that's actually not true. If you're heavy, you want the 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 blipple blip bike and the in the in the Schnupeldorf, uh I've never heard of a blipple blip wheels. Bike. You know, I, there's people who like know the science behind it. There's like an objectively best Mario Kart cart. I know that the the roll the blue roller wheels the 
the blue roller wheels and the uh, wiggler cart and the the bitty bug that I use and the cloud glider. I know those are really good, but beyond that, I don't really know like what the best cart is. All right, special cup. I always thought special cup was like a weird thing to call it with like the crown because it's like mushroom flower star which are like the three power-ups from the original and then it's just special cup and it's just a crown <laughs> um <laughs> that's me i'm the special cup yeah <laughs> i'm a very special cup i thought his shadow was like ink spill like oil <laughs> you know what it should have been it should have been a one-up mushroom cup should have been like the because those those would be all of the items from the original Super Mario. No. I think that was a missed opportunity, not having the special cup be the one up mushroom cup. Wait, is this a Bowser stage? No, this is Cloud Top Cruise. Then why was the little bumpers Bowser? Oh, because it's it's Bowser's airships. Bowser's airships. So this all. is a Bowser stage. Uh, I guess it's not called Bowser. It's not themed around any specific character. But, but Bowser's face is everywhere. <laughs> How is that not themed? So Bowser got two tracks in this one, because there is Bowser Castle. Bowser Castle is also in the special cup. So yeah, also, Bowser's definitely paying for this then. Yeah, okay. oh yeah, Bowser has his face on that too. This is kind of a Bowser track. Then I guess I picked the right character, <laughs> huh? Yeah, you did. You picked Bowser yeah, for the Bowser tracks. I just picked them because, well, Bowser. I... Did you throw a blue shell? Oh, no. You blue shelled me! You sent me a present! Well, you know, your birthday did just pass. Like, <laughs> this is not what I want. I love on 200cc if you drive fast enough, you just keep... The blue shell has been tailing me forever. Oh, there I go. Okay, I got me. Oh, that, was a, that was a really fun way to get hit by the blue shell. I got hit by the blue shell... I bounced and then I got zapped by lightning. <laughs> that was a really interesting way to get zapped. Uh, Cloud Top Cruise. Um, I love sky tracks. I think sky traps are. Just, I think sky tracks are really cool. I like that <laughs> sky they. Traps. Sky traps. Wow. <laughs> okay. I like big trap. <laughs> I like the way that they work in the vines and the uh, and the airships. I'm gonna say this is an. A tier track, I think it lacks a few obstacles. Like, it really starts to get going when it gets into the clouds. But it's still really solid. It's definitely very tricky and windy, and that I do appreciate. Um, I think that is pretty good. I just like that it's Bowser. You just like Bowser, that it's Bowser? Bowser, 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 Bowser. <laughs> I love ya. <laughs> yeah. So now we have Bone Dry Dunes. This is an interesting desert track because it's just it just the lighting is different, so this feels different from other Mario Kart desert tracks. Do do Ah I was doing and I wasn't doing it right. I know it's a little similar to uh Shy Guy Bazaar in uh Mario Kart seven. Oh, that's not gonna hurt him. Which, um, unfortunately didn't get a remake. I think that would have been a cool track to remake. Oh, stop being dumb. Stop being dumb. Ah, I can't drive. I mean, I can't in real life. Still! I like the bone piranha plants. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this track. Yeah, I like, who wants to go out to the desert? It's a little, like, like, I don't know if this is just me, like, needing to, like, get good. But, like, I like the dry bone obstacles. I think those are a little underused. I think there should have been more dry bones walking around. But I think some of the windiness, I always have trouble on this one. And I don't know if that's just because, like, I haven't memorized the track well enough, or I just, like, need to have better skill. But I've never been the biggest fan of Bone Dry Dunes. I know I would always, like, not vote for it in online. Um, and also, it's a special cup track. I would not have thought that this was a special cup track. Um, yeah, it's very windy. Um, Can it? Yeah, like, I don't like that turn right there. Like, you really have to turn. Um, and I don't know if that's just, like, uh, I need to do it better, and I'm about to get blue shelled. Um, that one wasn't for me, unfortunately. That's not anything wrong with the track that I'm about to get blue shelled. That's what's wrong with Mario Kart. <laughs> no, I, I actually, I like the blue shell. It makes, it makes it exciting. 
<laughs> Kabak needs to let me win because <laughs> I'm the boss. Yeah, Kabak needs to let you win because you're the boss. Yeah. And don't eat me. Okay, good. Eat him. Didn't eat me. No, it didn't eat me. Defeat him. Defeat him. Finish him. Finish him. Alright. Oh, and I don't want to get second place on a track that I don't even like that much. Um, I still... I am debating between a B and a C tier for this one. Um, I've been giving very high rankings to some of these tracks. No! Um... No! I don't know if my perspective of this track is being... Just because the tracks around it are so good... I think I'm going to give this a C tier. It might go up to B when I like really look at all the tracks next to each other and be like, no, this deserves B, but I'm going to say C tier for now. Um, and then I will uh, then I will see if I can bump it up. And my head just goes boop. Badoop. All right, this is Bowser's Castle. Hey! <laughs> this is a very good Bowser's Castle. It also does a thing I like uh, that I liked in the uh, the Luigi's Mansion one, where like the gate ominously opens as it starts. See? <laughs> Bowser. It's like, Wahaha, welcome. You know, all I can think is the 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 the, 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 the Shrek meme. The Shrek meme? What's Shrek me when they were making fun of Lord Farquaad. Oh, <laughs> so, oh, Bowser's got a big castle. You think he might be compensating for something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bowser built a really giant rock monster. <laughs> Bowser built a giant rock monster of himself. You think he might be compensating for something? <laughs> um. But no, seriously, this is a great track. I mean, and also, like, you know, every Mario Kart has, like, a Bowser's Castle specifically, and they're all really unique, and I think they just, they do them really well. I Bowser's Castle uh, pretty much always comes before Rainbow Road. Not in every Mario Kart, but most Mario Karts, it's Bowser's Castle is the, is the penultimate track before Rainbow Road. Um, and they knocked it out of the park with this one. Like, the way it uses the zero gravity with the punching Bowser. And the fact that, like, the punching Bowser, like, it's not gonna get you every time. It's like, sometimes you just do a race and you just go right through it. But it's just, it still keeps you on your toes every time you're doing it. And I got blue shelled again. How many times do I get blue shelled? <laughs> I'm getting like blue shelled so much. Like, you know, like, they do, like, those sin counters in, like, memes. Uh-huh. Let's do it with blue shell. A blue shell. Blue shell counter. And, and I'm getting... Oh, okay. I got by fire. Yeah, and just like all the obstacles, the weight of the fire. There's so many obstacles in this. And that's what a Bowser's Castle course should have. It should just have a ton of stuff that you gotta get out of the way of. A banana? If there's anything Bowser loves doing, it's setting traps that are gonna smack you if you don't get out of the way. I say as I drive right into a boulder. That's okay, because I'm still in first place. Nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, S tier. Like, this is a great Bowser, castle. Bowser, how are you Bowser's losing castle. in your own castle? <laughs> <laughs> Bowser, you should know the layout of your own Come castle. Come on. He's like, uh, this hmm. isn't my first castle, okay? <laughs> Bowser has so many castles that he just forgets the layout to them. He's like, oh, which castle is this? <laughs> I have so many. <laughs> How many castles does Bowser have? Like, if you go in and count, like, each distinct castle, including Mario Kart, the, you know, the main series games. All right, Rainbow Road. So, Mario Kart 8 Rainbow Road is a space station. And I think of this Rainbow Road in relationship to Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Road. Because, really, at the time... I know it seems like Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Road was like a million years ago, but like Mario Kart 7 came out only maybe like two years or so before uh, Mario Kart 8, and I fell off. Um, 
And in Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Road, you are, like, going through, like, the galaxy. Or at least, like, uh... Uh, you're just kind of going through, like, planets and stuff. Uh, and it feels like it's farther in space. And the Mario Kart 8 Rainbow Road is a space station, which I think you lose a little bit by having it be a space station. I appreciate that they committed to a theme. Like, they found a theme, and I fell off again. And they found a theme, and they committed to it, and, like, I respect that. But it also makes Rainbow Road feel a lot less magical. Like, it makes it feel like someone built it, rather than, like, oh, it's, like, just, like, there's a rainbow out in space, and you can drive on it. Like, this is very much like someone created this and, like, put it up here. Um, and it feels like they just, like, kind of colored it rainbow. And look, this spot here, you're not even on a rainbow road. You're just in the literal space station at this point. Um, what is this called? Rainbow Station or something? Rainbow Station. No, it's called Rainbow Road. They're all called Rainbow Road. It should be called Rainbow um, Station. Yeah. So this is not my favorite Rainbow Road. I mean, it's not a bad track. This is, this is pro I would say this is an A-tier track. Um... It's a little windy, like, I don't know if that's, like, typical, like, Rainbow Road challenge, and also I'm on 200cc, so it's a lot harder for me to stay on the track. I can usually do this track without falling off on 200cc, it's not so easy. Um, oh, I didn't really need to use that, sure. Uh, the key is to just not fall off here. Um, is that a blue shell going by? At least I'm not first this time. i second. I'm doing okay. Um... It is a hard Rainbow Road. I mean, I will give it that, that it is decently challenging. And I don't think it's, like, unfair challenging. There are a few times where I'm like, eh, it feels like a little cheap of a turn. Oh. Okay, okay. I just oh. gotta bring it home. What no, the? No, 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 no. I made a jump. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, cool. I still got first. Yeah, I'd say it's an A tier. Um, it's not the best Rainbow Road in Mario Kart. It's not even the best Rainbow Road in this Mario oh, Kart. Oh, <laughs> um, I was gonna get seventh. Uh, I do like the space... I think I would have liked that if a, there was a track that was on a space station that wasn't Rainbow Road. You know, I think there should have been a space station track and then Rainbow Road should have been separate and it should have been, like, further out in space and there's more, you know, space stuff with it. Like, this track, like, even without the rainbow, like, it could literally still be rainbow. It could literally look exactly the same and be called, like, Space Station Sprint. And there could have also been a Rainbow Road. Um, I don't know. The the Space Station theming, like, it's cool. I, it's, it's very hard to... I have very mixed feelings about this Rainbow Road, for sure. But it's definitely an A tier. I mean, it's not like it's a bad track or anything. Okay, I am going to uh, switch the camera battery. Ow! And then I'm going to use the bathroom. Okay. Entertain the masses. I'm not the world's best entertainer, but enjoy some music. <laughs> I have to switch out the camera battery. I don't know how to make my camera go off of the computer battery. I think there's a way to do it. Yeah, we have to figure that out soon. It might just be the nature of my camera. It might be a camera that doesn't. Yeah, sometimes it just happens, unfortunately. So, Em, what were your thoughts on the four regular tracks, the four main tracks? Of this I'm sorry, level? the four main, the four main Grand Prix. Four yeah. main Grand Prix. What, what are your thoughts on them? Tell, tell the audience. I liked it. Um, I definitely liked the Bowser themes. How there was like two. On there, you know, Bowser is just amazing. I love Bowser a lot. And it was nice seeing he had a nice castle. And, um, you know, it's kind of fine that, you know, this is the special cup. But, you know, maybe they're calling Bowser special. Um, I'm just kind of, like, very... I'm, I'm just kind of taken away by this whole trophy. I've been wondering, do they sell these trophies individually? Like, can I like buy them and not from SD? They look nice. But yeah, anyways, I like the tracks. My favorite one is the Bowser Castle because Bowser and the giant rock monster was pretty cool when 
I will talk. Hello? Oh. Uh-oh. What happened? <laughs> Messing up my camera. Okay, I'll wait for you to fix it, and then I'll go to the <laughs> And they can see you. There we go. Alright, um... Yeah, so I... I am surprised at how much I liked the four base cups in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like, I knew that there were good tracks, obviously. I mean, they're Nintendo tracks, you know, like, what else is there to say? Um, Nintendo designs really well. Although this was during the Wii U era. Like, back when these were designed, there was, you know, Mario Kart, not Mario Kart, but like Nintendo was in a bit of a lull with the Wii U a little bit. Um, I know like the, there was a little bit more, you know, stuff was a little more standard. This was around like Mario Tennis, like Ultra Smash territory, you know, where we were getting games like that. And uh, I, I think, you know, this, these tracks have been really solid. Um, I really, I'm surprised at how many A tier and S tiers I gave. Definitely like better than the a lot of the booster course pass tracks. Like it actually makes me look at the booster course track. It makes me look at the booster course pass a little different how good a lot of the base tracks are. Um, and I think it's surprising that when I do the ranking how many base game tracks are going to be ahead of the booster course tracks because you'd think you know the booster course tracks they're, they're shiny and new and like they'd be special but um you know those are i mean those are really those are really solid like they they did a great job making uh making those tracks um and even you know back in the wii u era like wii u was far from perfect um it's also kind of cool revisiting the old tracks the ones i played 10 years ago some of the characters that you couldn't really play as you know funky kong obviously like i'm really glad they added him in uh, Pauline is a cool addition. I don't particularly play as Pauline, but, uh, I'm glad that they have her. I'm glad that they acknowledge her. Um, Peach Ed is, should have been a palette swap. Uh, Kemek was, you know, originally supposed to be in Mario Kart 64. And now they, they have Kemek in. And Wiggler, Mario Kart 7. And then, uh, oh yeah, they also added Birdo. Uh, which I can't believe Birdo wasn't already in it. Like, Birdo was in the base game of so many mario karts and they just like not have birdo like until <laughs> almost 10 years of the game being out is so weird same with diddy kong it's like real they didn't have diddy kong like diddy kong and birdo were in double dash so like why are they not in why were they not in the base game and then obviously pd piranha uh pd piranha is awesome uh, i love pd piranha i'm actually gonna play as pd piranha and emily is back there we are. Who am I gonna play as? <laughs> Maybe I'll play as Mario, baby. You're gonna play as Mario, baby? Yeah! I'm dipping into my... There we go. Okay. go. Alright. Okay. So now we're going to play the retro tracks. We just played all of the base tracks. The Well, base... These are all the base game tracks. We played all the original tracks. All the tracks that... Oh came out in the very first Mario Kart 8. Back in 2014, you buy Mario Kart 8. These are the four new cups. And then these are all DLC. These came later. So now we have the four uh, retro cups. And these are all uh, remakes from previous Mario Kart games. So these will all be remake tracks. What you got there? A friend. <laughs> Let's get started with the Shell Cup. I like what they, like, made each cup. I like the Retro Track Cups. How it's like, you know, it's like, you got Mushroom, Flower, Star, and then Crown. 
but like it just it feels like that's a progression it's like okay, yeah mushroom yeah and then you get the flower like in mario you know you get the flower after you get the mushroom oh yeah and you get the star the star is special oh and then you have a crown that's like the main thing and then it's like this one is like okay you got a shell and then you progress to a banana <laughs> and then you progress to a leaf isn't that the tanuki leaf <laughs> yes and then and then lightning and then lightning lightning makes sense for the last one that one that one i get but i like that shell becomes banana so banana is better than shell banana is better than shell so this is the shell cup it just always has and always will be all right moo moo meadows from wii from mario kart wii I think there's another there's another Moo Moo Meadows. Wasn't there's it for a, the DS? Yeah, well, it was originally on the N Nintendo 64. Um, was it also called Moo Moo Meadows? Like, was that literally its name on the... No, it might have been called Moo Moo Farm. It might have been Moo Moo Farm, yeah. I don't remember if they have literally the same name. You? I thought you loved me. Um... Again, this is kind of the Mario Kart design philosophy of putting, like, a simple track early on. So, like, the shell track, the shell cup is, like, the mushroom cup of retro tracks. So they start you off with, like, simple tracks. Like, this Moo Moo Meadows was in the mushroom cup in Mario Kart Wii. So it was designed to be a very basic track. Um, very few obstacles, uh... I do like that on the second lap, the cows are in the middle. I like when they change in between laps. I think that's always clever. Uh, I do think Monty Mole is... You're not going to really get hit by Monty Mole, I, I guess if you know he's coming. Uh, and I like that the jumps give you a chance for, for a boost. But definitely a very short track, a very basic track. Um, it also doesn't really feel that much like a farm. Now that I think about it. You know, do you kind of get that? That it's not that farmish? I've never been on a farm. Oh, okay. Have you been on a farm? I, I have. And this feels... It feels a very... It feels a bit rural. You should have driven through the barn. That's what I think would have improved it a little bit. Driven through the farm. But yeah, that's Moo Moo Meadows. Um, I'm actually going to say it's a B tier, uh, because I do like that, that you have to avoid the cows, and you have to avoid the Monty Moles, and there's the chance for the jumps, and the twists and turns are okay. But I'd say it's a B tier just because of its length, and just it being a simpler track. Uh, again, I don't give tracks a pass just for being simpler. You know, I think that, I think that tracks should be judged on their own merit. Okay, so this one is interesting. This is a GBA track, and I think that this is kind of the gold standard of adapting a GBA track into Mario Kart 8, which is a standard that they did not follow when they adapted the GBA tracks in the Booster Course Pass. Um, this, is, this is not the only GBA track that they remade, and as of all the GBA tracks that they remade, the better remakes are in the base game and the worst remakes are in the the worst remakes are in the booster course pass uh because the booster course pass remakes are more like the original and the gba mario kart the gba mario kart was very good for its time but of course it's very dated and the tracks are very small because it was on the game boy advance now this track is still short um but and it does lack obstacles, so I don't think it's that amazing. But it is better than its uh, than its counterparts, than the other remakes of GBA tracks. I think they did a better job making this a more robust remake. Um, and and of course, I love that they did this little raised track here, because this wasn't in the original, you know. I think they could have extended it. They could have made the raised track like a whole extension rather than the raised track just being a part of it. Still a very short track. Um, still doesn't have many obstacles other than the oil slicks. It's still very basic. Um, but I think just because it has such a clear effort to not be exactly like the GBA track, I think bumps it right out of C tier into B tier. 
Um, but I'm a little on the fence with it. I'd have to compare it to the other GBA remakes that I did give C tier to because they were, um, they were, you know, they were, uh, too similar to their originals. Um, so I'd say it's maybe a low B tier could maybe drop into high C tier. Um, but I, I can tell that there was more to it than just like, oh, we just took a GBA track and just slapped it into Mario Kart 8. Uh, which is what they did with a lot of the booster course ones. Cheap Cheap Beach DS track. Oh. Yeah, this was original on the DS. Um, I do love beach tracks. The Mushroom Kingdom must be in a like uh, must be close to the equator on their planet, provided their planet is on Earth, because there's a lot of Mario Kart tracks that are that there are palm trees. You know, but then there's like Mount Wario, where it's like, oh, I guess Mount Wario is a mountain, but there's a lot, there's like places where it snows. How does that work? You know, like in in Mario, like in uh, in in New Super Mario Bros. U, you got like World Three. Um, you know, you get like a branching path, and you can either go to the the tropical world or you can go to the snow world. But like they're right next to each other, like you can walk to them. Like that's not realistic. <laughs> Those places will be very far from each other. A place where there's a lot of snow and a place where there is where there are palm trees growing. Um but Mushroom Kingdom, you know, that must cover a lot of land. You know, it must be at least as big as you know the United States. I mean the United States has both of those biomes. They're very far away from each other. You know, you can have like really cold, snowy places like Minnesota or, no. or oh. Maine. Oh. I thought the I thought it was gonna be like the DS. Like when you get into blue water. Oh, yeah. No, you can go in the water in this one. Yeah, I like some of the remakes of places that have water where, you know, it implements the going underwater. Um, I think this track is very well designed in terms of, like, its twists and turns. It's also decently sized. I'd say this is a decently long track. Some DS tracks actually... Some DS tracks were actually pretty decently long. Like, they, they definitely had good length to them. Like, this isn't even, like, extended. It's it's still a pretty decently long track. Uh, the crabs are a good obstacle. Um, and it does have good ambiance. You know, uh, as much as I love, like, you know, tropical beach places, it is definitely not as interesting as some other Mario Kart biomes. Um... I would call this a B-tier track. Um, ah, I jump from 4 to 7 so fast. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't that, count the day, can I? That's Mario Kart for you. <laughs> but you yeah, get to be good. Because I play this game too much. <laughs> that's why I get to be good. I play this game way too much. Uh, I play it all the time. All right, next. Toad's Turnpike. Um. I love tracks like this, where you're just, they're just driving on a road with real cars. I find them absurd and funny. Just that they, just like, why don't we just race on a track with, with real cars? Um, Toad's Turnpike was also the original. Uh, it was the original city track. It was the original city track. It's what started all this. So when you see those 14 city tracks in the Booster Course Pass, you got uh, you got Toad's Turnpike to thank for that. Oh really? Um, yeah, Toad's Turnpike was the first track that was just like in a real city. I think it's the first time Mario like had like a modern city, like cars, because Mario's kind of a. If you look at like the history of Mario, Mario's kind of like a fantasy world, you know, like Mushroom Kingdom and like villages and stuff. But like there wasn't really like cities. You know, until Mario Kart. Mario Kart really started to have, like, stuff like Mushroom City and Toad's Turnpike, where, like, there's, like, trucks and cars in... I don't think Mar... I don't think other than, like, Mario Kart, like, the Super Nintendo, obviously, and Mario Kart. But, like, I think this is the first time there were just cars in Mario. Where it's like, yeah, they have cars in this world. Um... Because if you really look at it, like, it kind of goes all over the place. It's I like... killed the bus. <laughs> killed the bus. Yeah. And I am proud of it. 
Uh, Totes Turnpike also is the second longest track in Mario Kart 64. Oh man, I botched that jump. Uh, I also like that in this remake they implemented the gliders and the uh, zero gravity. You get these little spots where... Ah, you couldn't get me. I finished. <laughs> I'll shadows, man. The best part to hit the glider is before the, the bridge. And you can actually fly over the bridge. Oh, I didn't know there was a glider. I was just staring at your scoot and trying to hit you with the... Um, yeah, I love Toad's Turnpike. It's not that strong of a track... Like, it definitely isn't too... No. Toast Turnpike definitely isn't too strong of a track. Um, I don't think I could give it A tier, even though I personally like all the cars. There just aren't enough twists and turns to it um, for it to really be a solid track. I'd still give it a B tier, um, especially because the remake really did it justice by adding the, the glider stuff and the on the side, and even though I think those those surfboards, yeah, those surfboards weren't in the original either. Um, who drives a car like that? The, with the surfboard on the back? Is that how people transport surfboards? With the surfboards just on the bottom? I get that it's a video game thing, like that's how they, um... Well, maybe that's how they do it in their culture, in the Mushroom Kingdom. I, I, I suppose, yeah. B tier, uh, by the way, for uh, Toad's Turnpike. Me, um, I like City Tracks, not so much that one. Um, see, because I can. No, because, um, I had no idea what you meant when you kept saying the flying thing. <laughs> the flying thing? Yeah, you were like, oh, if you go somewhere and you can, like, fly. Oh, there's the, the, the back of the trucks. Yeah, they had boosts that made oh. you pull out the glider. Yeah, I don't think I registered to go on there. <laughs> you want to be like, oh, I don't want to be Peter Pry again. Uh, I'm going to be Kemic. I want to be the Link that I know. You want to be the Link that you know? Yeah. Uh, oh, this is a perfect time to be Kemic because we have Nintendo 64 Royal Raceway. Which is where Kemic was originally supposed to be. Kemic was going to be in Mario Kart 64, but was replaced by Wario. Oh. And then Kemic never got to be in another one. It's because it was coming right off of Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island was pretty recent at the time. Kemic was a pretty big character in it. Think about it. If Kemic was in Mario Kart 64, Kemic would have been in a lot more Mario spinoffs. Probably would have been in tennis. Um... Like, Kemic would have been a larger character if it was one of, like, the original, like, eight. There's only eight characters in Mario Kart 64, and one of them was almost Kemic. And because Kemic wasn't in Mario Kart 64, Kemic didn't get to even be in Mario Kart until 2023. Like, that wouldn't have been the case if Kemic was all the way back there. Kemic would have been a bigger character in Mario as a whole. No, no, um, no, no, no. Oh, he forgets, too. But I find that find that interesting. No. So this is Mario Kart Double Dash's desert track. It's definitely one of the less remarkable desert tracks. I obviously have a lot of nostalgia for it because of Mario Kart Double Dash. Um, there isn't a lot to it. They added these. Oh no, that was in the original. I think that was in the original. The things that fell. No, the, the Falling Pillars, I don't think, was in the original, because there weren't tricks in the original. Um, I do like the way that the Pokies go down. Oh, I got to break the blue shell. Uh, I do like the way like the Pokies get in your way. Uh, this part right here, the, the, the Quicksand Pit, was completely botched, for a few reasons. Um, First of all, it's way easier to get around the quicksand pit than it was in the original. In the original, the quicksand pit was, like, kind of a threat. Like, it was like, oh, man, I might get stuck in the quicksand pit. And if you got stuck in the quicksand pit, you were done. And maybe they thought that was a problem, that, like, if you just... You know, they didn't want one mistake in the track to put you in, you know, seventh place for the whole thing. So maybe that's why they changed it. But another big problem with the, with the quicksand pit is when you fall in the middle of the quicksand pit, 
You just, you know, I'm gonna show it. I, I will risk. Look, la uh, in case you can't really see it because I got blooped. But, <laughs> but w what happened there is I just got, you know, I fell in the quicksand pit and I just got fished out by Lakitu. And it's like, well, okay, like, what's so bad about that? Well, in the original, when you fell in the quicksand pit. Yeah, no, thank you, thank you, Ab. I wasn't gonna win anyway. <laughs> for getting me that, that for the footage. Yeah, so as you just saw on M's screen, Link just fell into the quicksand pit, and Lakitu just fished him out. In the original, a giant piranha plant, not PD piranha specifically, like a piranha plant that we've never seen anywhere else, a big spiky piranha plant, just up and ate you. <laughs> you huh? got eaten by a big piranha plant, and then the cuts to black, and Lakitu somehow got you out of there um i think it's a, like the i think it's like a star wars reference like they wanted to reference the 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 place where the, the sarlacc pit in star wars i think that's why it did that um because that's what it reminds me of but then they just they don't have it in this one and i just think like the most iconic thing about that track is gone um i guess i like that they added water to the oasis but yeah i don't know like desert tracks Desert tracks, there's just an abundance of them, and they aren't, they don't make them more interesting. I think they have this idea that because it's in a desert, that makes it interesting on its own. It doesn't. I think the desert needs to be interesting with something else, so I think that makes this a C tier track. I think it's just funny to drive with Link, because he makes all these sounds like, ah, oh, ah. <laughs> like he's just like all hurt. And I'm like, why are you so vocal, Link? I see why you have simps, but why are you so vocal? Okay, so this is a SNES track. Uh, remaking SNES tracks is always going to, you know, there's always going to be some words said about a remake of an SNES track. Because the SNES tracks, I mean, Mario Kart, um, Mario Kart on the SNES... It was it was a marvel. Like for its time, Mario Kart on the SNES is is very good. You know, it was very ahead of its time, but it has not aged well. And uh, revisiting it, like I first played Mario Kart on the SNES. You know, it didn't come out in my time, so like my first Mario Kart was Double Dash. So I went from Double Dash, and then I played Mario Kart DS, and then I played Mario Kart Wii, and then I get the Virtual Console and I play Mario Kart SNES and like that's quite a downgrade. But I bet if I had played it in the 90s when it came out, if I were 10 years older, and that was my first Mario Kart, I I would have found it to be remarkable. Um, I'm sure. But it has not aged well. Um, and the tracks are very small. They're very short tracks. So whenever they remake an SNES track, they need to extend it a little and also they were not they were they did not have very strong themes it was grassland snow you know mud like there were you know there wasn't anything like really interesting there were bowser castles bowser castles were like the coolest and then of course you have rainbow road there was a rainbow road even in the original uh and they did remake the snes rainbow road uh and the snes rainbow road remake is very good and i got blooped um ah oh, that's a shame I didn't even get first place. I'm complaining about how short this track is. I didn't even get first. Um, but, yeah, I think this is still a pretty good remake. Uh, I know they add in the water. That makes it a little more interesting. It's still a C-tier track. Like, I don't know why even of... <laughs> like, even of the limited biomes in the original SNES Mario Kart... The least interesting of those biomes is the Grassland one. This is definitely a better remake than the SNES track in the Booster Course Pass, the Mario Circuit, that literally they made stylized after an SNES track and fell flat on its face. Um, but it is still a C-tier track. Um, yeah. Next... <laughs> Royal Raceway. Uh, I love Royal Raceway. Oh, the puppies! Little piranhas. <laughs> Little piranhas. Uh, those PNGs. <laughs> they did do PNGs in the original. I thought those was a booster course, booster course pass thing. Uh, yeah, Royal, Royal Raceway is one of my favorite Nintendo 64 tracks. Um, 
it's interesting because it's like a grassland, but its color palette sets it apart a lot. Um, one of the most interesting things about Royal Raceway is, again, it's not in this remake, but in the original Nintendo 64 version, you could actually go off of the track and go to Peach's Castle. And it's literally, it is the Peach's Castle from Super Mario 64. See, it's gated off over there. Um, so you, you can't actually go to it in this one. And also, it doesn't look like Super Mario 64's Peach's Castle anymore. But I thought that was really cool because in um, Mario Kart 64, they designed Peach's Castle into it because in the um, in the victory thing, where it's like telling you like who got in first place, you would drive in front of Peach's Castle from Super Mario 64. So they decided to actually have it as an Easter egg. It's actually in Royal Raceway, and you can go find it. Um, you can't do that in this one, so it doesn't really give it any points here. Um, but yeah, Royal Raceway is... Um, what I think is weird about the like Piranha Plant obstacles is that they are off the track anyway. Like, you can hit them if you go off the track. Like, you can go off the track and it's like, oh no, I went off the track. And then you can go off the track and hit a piranha, which is worse. So, like, I kind of get... Did you hit me with that? No. Blue block? So, I get the reason for the piranha plants being off the stage, but all of them are off the stage. So, like, if you drive correctly and don't ever go off the, the track, you don't ever have to worry about piranha plants. They should have had it where you had to avoid some that were just, like, on the track. Like, maybe there should have been, like, a crack in the road and the piranha plant grew out of it. Um, that would have been cool. Because this is very obstacle light. Um, what? How did I get hurt? So even though this is a track I personally really like, I do acknowledge that it's not super strong, uh, which would set it at a B tier. Um, I like that they added hot air balloons <laughs> to the remake. Were there hot air balloons in the original? There could have been hot air I'm balloons. I'm not sure. In the yeah, I don't remember. Okay, so what's the up with Link? Why does he look like an elf? Mm-hmm. Is he related to Buddy the Elf? Is he related to Buddy the Elf? Yeah, because Link? he looks like an elf. Well, Buddy the Elf isn't an elf. He's a human. Raised by elves. So, is Link not a... Is, is, is Link not a elf? Link is a Hylian, and they all have those ears. Hylians all have those ears. So the elves... They've never been called elves. But they are elves. I think they're based off, like, el like, um, they're more, uh, like, like, Tolkien elves. Tolkien. Tolkien, Tolkien elves are actually tall. Elves are actually, there's some elves that are taller than regular humans, and then there's some elves who are, like, you know, like, Santa elves are, like, tiny elves. Um, but, uh, Tolkien elves are, are taller. Um, than, than regular humans. And it's a... Uh, it's, uh, yeah, so... Oh, I hit a tiki. You hit a tiki? Um, but yeah, I forget. This is a Mario Kart 7 track. Um, I mean, it's Donkey Kong track. It's modeled off of Donkey Kong Country Returns. So one issue I'll take with this track before... I will... I, I do like this track. I think there's a lot of good things about it. Um, but... Donkey Kong has a lot of really interesting biomes, and the jungle is the most basic of them. And the problem with Donkey Kong, how, like, Donkey Kong is kind of its own series who's in Mario Kart. Like, it's not so much a crossover, because Donkey Kong's always in Mario stuff. Um, but the Donkey Kong series is very unique on its own, and it's kind of a shame that every time Donkey Kong gets a track, it's just regular jungle. When if you play Donkey Kong Country, you know, 1, 2, and 3, and I've never actually played Returns or Tropical Freeze, but I assume Return and Tropical Freeze also have a lot of cool biomes. But, like, there's, you know, there's, like, the ship, like, the pirate ships. I would love to see a Donkey Kong pirate ship. There's the, uh, the brambles in, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. Like, why has there never been a, a Mario Kart track based on the Bramble stages in Donkey Kong Country 2? That would be amazing. And they just never do it. And it's like the furthest they ever go with Donkey Kong tracks is they get uh, a, just a jungle. And I think Donkey Kong deserves a little more than that. Because um, remember, Donkey Kong is a whole series. Like, just as Mario is, it's a whole series. It's a little smaller of a series. But Donkey Kong should get more than one track. 
He also should get more than one character <laughs> per game, too. Um, I'm glad they got Diddy and Funky now. Um, but I think in the next Mario Kart, I would like to see Donkey Kong have a bigger role. I think they're going to do that like with stuff like King K. Rule and Smash and Funky Kong oh, coming back. Can I find a shortcut? No, that's always there. Oh. Uh, that being said, it's still a good track. It does, you know, ignoring that it could have been, they could have picked a better biome of Donkey Kongs for it. Uh, I mean, I'd say it's a solid B-tier track. Uh, it's uh, actual contents and how you drive through it definitely puts it up a little bit. Um, I'm more of a fan of the uh, the Kremlings than the little like tiki guys that are the villains in Donkey Kong Country Returns. Um, I haven't really played Donkey Kong Country Returns. I played more the originals, Donkey Kong Country Trilogy. So I'm more used to the Kremlings than, you know, whatever these tiki guys are. Um... But, yeah, you know, it's a fine track. Um, could have been something more interesting. Alright, and that was what? That was the banana cup? So, is this what, you know, the in the Mario movie, what they based the, the, the level off? Yeah, 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 I mean, that's the... the yeah, yeah the that's the Donkey they... Kong world. Yeah, and it's pretty close. Like, that's what Donkey Kong world does look like. That's like... That's like where Donkey Kong lives, but in the Donkey Kong Country games, there are a lot of different kinds of levels, different biomes. Um, especially like Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3 has some like really great environments that just have not been represented in Mario Kart and I think deserve it. Um, also, King K. Rool should be a character. <laughs> yes. Hmm... I want to play as new characters. No PJ. <laughs> I'll be a Birdo. I'll be an orange Birdo. Why what not? I going to be? I will play as Cootie Pie Von Koopa. <laughs> Her new name is Wendy Koopa. That's a terrible name. <laughs> Go back to Cutie Pie Von Koopa. My cousin loves playing as Wendy. He's a Wendy main Mario Kart. Her name is Cootie Pie Von Koopa. <laughs> Cutie Pie Von Koopa? Yes. All right, we're on the Leaf Cup. Cootie Pie do this. Von Koopa. This is definitely, um, these definitely take longer than the Booster Course Pass uh, Cups. Yeah. The booster course pass cups, uh, the tracks are shorter than the other ones. Um, Wait, didn't they already had something like this? Hmm? Where it was like a... No, that's Waluigi Stadium. This is Wario Stadium. DS Wario Stadium. And I feel they're very distinct. Um, I, but they both had floating fireballs. They do both have floating fireballs. Wow, no wonder why they're friends. I like the DS remakes because the DS tracks are decently long. The DS tracks are good size-wise. Oh. It's it's really once they got the DS like even uh, Double Dash the GameCube has some pretty short tracks um, like Double Dash did not have very long tracks uh, probably because Double Dash was not a very easy game to make because of oh, man. just you know GameCube was not super powerful. Oh. Um, and he also the restriction of making games on a tiny disc because Nintendo thought that people were going to pirate their games, um, which they did regardless of if you had a tiny disc. So it didn't really work, Nintendo. Um, but uh, yeah, but uh, DS tracks are very decently sized. Um, I think this is a fine remake. Uh, I think it lacks. I think it lacks some obstacles. Also, like, the thing about Wario tracks is that I don't really know Wario tracks to be very Wario-themed. Like, Wario has his own game series and his own characters, and they never reference them in Mario Kart, which is strange because we just did a Donkey Kong course, and in the Donkey Kong course, they had Donkey Kong enemies. So why is it that in Wario Stadium, they don't have, like, a reference to, like, WarioWare? I never really played WarioWare, so I don't really know what the enemies are. Blue or shell. whatever's there. Oh, I'm getting blue shells. Not quite me. And blue shells. Um, but I think there could have been a little more of that. Uh, that being said, I do really like 
I like Wario Stadium. Um, uh, I mean, stadium tracks... Um, stadium tracks come suffer on, from... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. The problem with stadium tracks come is... Come on, come on. Come on. Yes! <laughs> I am happy with third. The problem with stadium tracks is the same problem I have with the city tracks, is that they're just like... They're too in the real world, you know? Nice like, <laughs> Other than a statue of Wario and some fire... I mean, even not the fire. There isn't really anything that makes this a Mario track. It makes it in the Mario world. Or the Wario world. If it was WarioWare characters, I would be okay with that as well. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Good. You like playing uh, almost 50 Mario Kart tracks in a row? <laughs> Is that how many there was? 48. I yeah, felt like 48. it was very personal with Bowser. <laughs> I was like, Bowser, hello, you're not gonna let me win. I'm playing as Cootie by Von Koopa. That's the <laughs> one kid you let step all over you. <laughs> Alright, Sherbert Land. Um I mean it's getting close to Christmas. <gasps> so No Did you explode? I exploded <laughs> Yeah, you really gotta hold that A at the right time. Uh uh, so this is a Double Dash track, and as I was saying, Double Dash actually has shorter tracks than DS. The DS Mario Kart uh, actually has longer tracks, because the DS Mario Kart didn't prioritize graphics. Um, I think Mario Kart Double Dash, because it was a GameCube game, they had a standard of graphics. But um, And Mario Kart DS actually holds up really well, graphics-wise, too. Um, but because Mario Kart DS was simpler... They could probably make longer tracks, whereas um, Mario Kart Double Dash was kind of pushing it on the amount of memory it had in the disc. And that also was Nintendo's fault for having tiny discs on the GameCube. Nintendo decided not to have normal sized discs on the GameCube um, because they thought that people were going to pirate the games. Um, so they had all these tiny discs that uh, messed them up marketing wise and made their games graphically a little smaller. And then people pirated their games anyway. <laughs> uh, that was really weird. My... My... My uh, glider came out, like, for, like, half a second. Um, that being said, I like this remake. Uh, I like Sherbert Land. Uh, I actually kind of... Like, I like that they added the new thing in that separate path with the water. But also, if you go in the water, you miss, like, the best part of this track, which is the ice skating Shy Guys. So they should have had the separate path, should have been over here. This should have been the separate path. Um, and even there, like, the freezies are, like, the main obstacle. Like, you put these branching paths, and it's like, oh, hey, do you want to skip, like, the best parts of this course? So I think those those shortcuts are actually in the worst parts. Um, and I think they're faster, which is why I took them. Um, but yeah, I think the uh, the water portion should have been in the middle rather than at the beginning and end, uh, because the middle is the more generic part of this track. Um, I mean, I'm going to say it's B tier. Like, I love that there are ice skating Shy Guys, even though you can avoid them in this version. Uh, and the Freezies, like, those are Mario obstacles, and I like when they use Mario characters to be the obstacles in the track. Um, so that's, that's going to be... That's going to be a B tier. It was close to A tier, but I don't think I can give it A tier. Man, the remakes, the retro tracks, are not getting very high grades compared to... Ooh, that um, looks pretty. Yes, this is Music Park. Um, I like Music Park. Man. I am a big fan. Somebody was playing music for years. Man. <laughs> give me those quarter notes. This was a remake of a Mario Kart 7 track. Yes! So because this is a remake of the Mario Kart that came before this, this is going to be a more advanced course, both in length and just what it's capable of doing. Um, I love the, those piranha plants because they switch every lap. You have to go across that differently. But I was friends with them! <laughs> there's the drum, and then there's the flying part. And a cool thing that you try to do is you try to hit the ground right when these guys bounce. Like, let's see if I can do it. Uh, um, I think if you hit the ground right when you bounce, it lets you fly for longer. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, Music Park is excellent. The ambiance, the color, the lighting, the obstacles, the twists and turns, and the music that these turns make when you go down them. Um, absolutely, this is an S tier track. Uh, it's just, it's excellent. They had a concept and they followed through on it. And that's just what you want to see in a Mario Kart track. And, oh, I didn't fly. You also can get crushed by the big music notes, too. I've had that happen to me sometimes, where I just get, I just get crushed by them. Because I'm not paying attention. Yeah, this reminds me of the uh, Mario Kart DS stage. Uh, the, the Toadette's music room. That's what I, I find it to be similar to. But yeah, great, great track. Oh, 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 uh, it's harder on 200cc to hit those, uh, hit those turns. Like, you really have to memorize this track to do well on it. Oh, I got totally blasted by that. Oh, am I not gonna do well? Oh, I hit the, the guy. Okay. Uh oh, I was trying to do the, the, the bounce. No, let me Koopa. Oh, got him first in the last second. Wow. <laughs> that was great. I was hoping somebody blue showed you. <laughs> oh, here, sit up a little. You're going out oh. of the you're going out of the out of the square. <laughs> oh, I'm, looking I'm just like <laughs> you're, yeah. You're like am I, uh, you're, you're like, am I getting taller? Or is she <laughs> getting shorter? I don't think you could possibly get any shorter. <laughs> Yoshi Valley, Nintendo 64 Yoshi Valley. Egg, in these trying times. Egg. Egg. Yoshi Valley is cool because it has a bunch of different branching paths. In the original, Yoshi Valley on the Nintendo 64 does like the weirdest thing. Where like, it doesn't tell you who's in first until the it. race ends. And I don't know if that's like a glitch, if like they programmed it wrong. Uh, I always thought that was a glitch, but it might have been intentional on the developer's part. In this game? Not in this game. And no, in, in this game it tells you who's in first. In the original Nintendo 64, because there's all these different branching paths, it just says question mark on the map, and it doesn't tell you who's in first. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, it's very strange. Oh, I totally missed him with the fireballs. Um... Egg. But yeah, I think the branching paths are kind of cool. Um, there is one path. I always take the same path, usually. Um, I'm not for this because I'm just showing the different paths. Like, I want, I'm just going to take the different path. But I usually, the one I'm going to take on the last uh, lap is usually the path I take. Because uh, I think it's the fastest. Goomba! Not me oh, admiring the scene. Um, a little light on obstacles, definitely. I mean, the track is based on its different paths and how you can go through the different paths. There's this one egg obstacle at the end. Um, I think, uh, I think there could have been more of those eggs, you know? In these trying times, we need more eggs. Exactly. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, blue shell's coming, and I am not in first. <laughs> I got hit by blue shell in passing. Yep. Take that up on. Oh, I kind of like that the blue shell doesn't just hit first. I think there was a cool novelty about how the blue shell. Where did Bowser go? This is personal. When the blue shell had wings, that it would only hit the person in first. It's an item that just hits the person in first. I kind of like that you have to get out of the way of it. Oh, 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 I got egged. I got egged. Oh, uh, and I'm still in first. Bowser. Okay, but I totally got egged. And there I go. Well, thanks to whoever sent that blue shell, because that might have gotten me in first. <laughs> uh, yeah, Yoshi Valley, uh, another B tier. Um, a lot of these, a lot of these retro tracks are more towards the B tier. I think Music Park is the only S of the base game retro tracks. Um, yeah, I'm surprised at how weak the retro tracks are compared to the base game tracks. Um, because, like, there's some great previous tracks in Mario Kart. They just didn't pick really good ones. You know what the problem was? In Mario Kart 8, when they picked the retro tracks, they didn't pick any retro tracks that were retro tracks in a previous Mario Kart. 
So, like, for example, Waluigi Pinball was a retro track in Mario Kart 7. So they didn't pick Waluigi Pinball to be a retro track in the Mario Kart 8 base game. It is a booster, it, it's a retro track in the booster course pass. So they did eventually add Waluigi a Pinball. Yeah. But it couldn't have been picked. So by now, they were running out of like really good tracks to pick because they mm -hmm. didn't choose anything that's already been represented as a retro track. Now, with that being said, there's still a few that didn't make it. Like, Toad's Factory has not been remade ever. It didn't even make it in the Booster Course Pass. I do not know why Toad's Factory does not does not make it in. Um, but it, it didn't. Uh, but they could have used that one, like, other than, like, SNES. And they just, they gotta let go of these SNES and GBA tracks. Um, some of the GBA tracks, they just needed, like, full remakes like same concept but different tracks it needed to be larger it was they were too small funky kong and bowser jr you already played as funky kong i know but i just i like funky kong a lot i'll play as a few multiple times i'll probably play as toadette again uh, okay yeah i want to play as funky kong on the nintendo 64 rainbow road that's why gotcha hello TikTok Clock. I love TikTok Clock. My one problem with the remake of TikTok Clock is that it doesn't really look like the TikTok Clock from Super Mario 64 anymore. Because this was on Mario Kart DS. And Mario Kart DS released like just after Super Mario 64 DS and used a lot of the same models. So like if you have like like Mario from Super Mario 64 DS is like the same Mario in Mario Kart DS. Um, and uh, they use some of the boss battles. And uh, TikTok Clock actually looks like TikTok Clock from Super Mario 64 DS, which I thought was really cool. Um, I mean, I, at the same time, I'm glad that it doesn't look exactly like it because then it would look really dated. But it should have looked like kind of like an updated TikTok Clock, like from. Like, like, as if it was from that game. They just kind of made it look like its own clock. Which, I mean, it looks awesome. Like, if you look at it on its own, like, it looks like you're, you know, you're racing in a clock. Like, it's super cool. Um, yeah, I love TikTok Clock. The obstacles are great. Uh, similar to Sunshine Airport, and why I like Sunshine Airport, is that it doesn't use Mario enemies, but it uses the obstacles that would exist in a place like this in a way that's very interesting and meaningful. So, uh, that will, that is why I give uh, TikTok Clock an S tier, uh, because it just, it's one of those tracks that just, it has its concept, and it rolls with it, and it just, it commits to it, and, um, yeah, I, I love TikTok Clock. I like it too. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Oh, I'm just trying to not get hit. I keep getting hit. Yeah, I love that they added uh, with the double boxes that the double boxes are in the middle, so like you might get, you might hit the the, the pendulum if you uh, if you try to get the double box. I think that was cool. Oh my goodness, I am doing terribly. This is also the worst I've ever raced. Oh, okay, I got second. Okay, I haven't gotten worse than third so far. I thought I was gonna get like seventh. I got fourth place. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. What is that? Are you doing? Uh, are you doing Ricky Bobby logic? What's Ricky Bobby? Yeah, you ain't first, you're last. Yeah. Yeah, Ricky Bobby logic. Yeah. All right. Here's a 3DS track, Piranha Plant Slide. Uh, 3DS tracks are great. They're you know they're from the most they're from the second most recent Mario Kart is the 3DS. From, I think, 2012? Uh, when did 3DS Mario Kart come out? A long time ago. Um, but yeah, Piranha Plant Slide is a... I mean, it's got Piranha Plants, it's got Goombas. S. It's an S for you, because of Piranha Plants. I mean, Goomba, Piranha... <laughs> Man, I don't know if I can give it an S. I, I'm definitely going to get an A. It, it'll be an A at the very least. I get um, to go inside the home of Piranhas. <laughs> just chill like this is definitely i would say you know what this might get an s because 
You know what? You know what I think is really amazing about this track? <gasps> this, I would say, is the Mario Kart track that is the most Mario. Because it goes into a sewer, and Mario's a plumber, it has piranha plants, and Goombas, which are like the two most frequently appearing Mario enemies. And um, and there's like that castle stuff at the end. This is like the most Mario, Mario Kart course. And I think for that reason, it should be S tier. Um, I also love that there's a fake Goomba, like a Goomba stand. What? And then there's a real Goomba. Yeah, look, there's a Goomba. Oh, someone broke it. But there's a Goomba cardboard cutout, and then there's a real Goomba right behind it. Oh. This isn't a you know what this is an S tier track. I, I didn't even really I never really appreciated this track until like actually ranking it alongside other ones. But Piranha Plant Slide is an incredible track. Well anything with the word piranha plant in it is gonna be amazing. Like come on. The piranha plants had to build their slide first before they can show us the parade. <laughs> yeah, do you think this is where they rehearsed the piranha plants on parade? I definitely think so. <laughs> yeah, this is they their rehearsal like, space. You know, Let's, you know, this is our time to shine. <laughs> Just hear it echoing through there. I saw the cutout. Yeah, you saw the cutout. You know what we should do? We should we should play that level, but I should see how many piranha plants that I can say that I can kill. <laughs> I should try to see if I could make them all stop singing. Would that make you upset? Yes. <laughs> yes. But that'd be quite a challenge, huh? Just have to, um, just have to hit all the piranha plants. I wonder what power-up would be the best one. But the baby. We should try that. We should, we should kill all the piranha plants. Okay. <laughs> For the views. For the views. <laughs> Alright, Grumble Volcano, a Wii track. So we had a DS track, a 3DS track, and then a Wii track in the Lightning Cup. It's like they're intentionally picking uh, tracks that were longer. Like no GBA, no Double Dash, and no SNES in the Lightning Cup. And then the one after this is uh, Nintendo 64 Rainbow Road. Which Nintendo 64 tracks are pretty short, and I'll actually get to the length of that one. But as far as these tracks go, these are decently long tracks. It's like for the Lightning Cup, they saved the longer tracks. So it's like they know that those tracks are shorter from those other games. Uh, but Grumble Volcano is a great track. Uh, a lot of obstacles to avoid. Um, it's interesting having a track with lava that's not a Bowser's Castle. There's actually not a lot of them. Um, in fact, it was really only New Super Mario Bros. that had lava in a non-Bowser's Castle. Where you had like a volcano stage. So, like, volcanoes in Mario were actually relatively new. Um, before then, you really only saw lava in Bowser's Castle. Um, I think there was a volcano in um, Super Mario Sunshine. I actually never finished Super Mario Sunshine. I only played the first few levels. It's the one Mario game I've never, like, really played. But, um, yeah, volcanoes are actually rarer than you'd think. You'd think there's a lot of, like, lava because of Bowser's Castles in every Mario Kart. So you're like, there's a ton of lava in Mario Kart. But not really, not in a volcano. Um, but yeah, this is an A-tier track. Um, I love that it, you know, changes that the, you know, that you're playing on unstable ground that's falling. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, there's just so much to avoid. So much, so much keeping you on your toes. Uh, I love that the remake added in the glider. Just a classic Wii track, uh, done very well. Uh, A tier for sure, and I'm gonna die. Oh, that, that was not good. I got lightning at the worst time. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. That was the lightning. Okay, I got third, I've gotten third twice. It was a blue shell and it was lightning, alright? Not my okay. play. <laughs> The way how I see it is, at least you got, you know, at least you got first many <laughs> times. At least I've been You don't get first. to complain, okay? I'm only, we're here going from, like, 
fourth place is probably my best, maybe third. But then my worst is like 12. Man, I cannot see Chain Chop now, not <laughs> as that character from the Amazing Digital Circus. With the name Bubbles or something the like bubbles. that. The Bubbles. I only so, remember Jackson Pommy. Mario Kart 64 Rainbow Road. I love Mario Kart 64 Rainbow Road. Um, so in the original, uh, Mario Kart 64's Rainbow Road was actually the longest track. And it was a regular track where you went around it three times. They didn't have mega tracks back then. For Mario Kart 8, they made it a mega track where you only go around it once. But I don't think they actually made it longer. They might have made it a little longer because it doesn't feel that short. But it's actually a pretty short track, which is so strange because it's a rainbow road that's known for being really long, and it ended up being like one of the shortest tracks. And there's so much cool stuff with it, avoiding the chain chomps, the way that it moves, I just got hit by a chain chomp. Um, I love the train going around, and I got plant there. Is this the first time I've even gotten this item, the piranha plant? Yeah, it's so short. Like, it's so tiny. It's so weird how short this track is. When it's like Rainbow Road. And this is like the Rainbow Road um, that they advertise the game with. Um, you know, like, this one is almost more advertised. I'm getting blue shelled and I fell off! I wonder if that was, like, better than falling off. Oh, man, I did not do well. I fell off and got blue shelled. Am I gonna get fourth? Oh no, this is gonna get. Ouch, I got fourth on it. I didn't even do well on it. I Yikes, stick. I did not play well. Ew. Did not play well at all. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'd say this is an A tier. It's only an A tier. And that's just because it's Rainbow Road. It might have even gotten a B if it's. Um, because it, it's really, it really is too short. Like, this really should have been a longer track. Like, they should not have made it. The, they should have just extended it. Like, I, I don't know why they don't extend tracks when they remake them. I guess maybe they feel like they wouldn't be a remake anymore if they weren't the exact track length of the original. But Or just, they should have made it where you go around three times. Like, I, I don't see why they didn't just make it where you went around three times. Because it is short enough, it would be lo a lot longer than your average track. But it wouldn't be that much longer if you just went around it three times. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's only an A tier. I like the rainbows. I'm going to replace the... Um, battery? Yeah, the battery. Oh. Okay, well, I'm in charge. Yep, tell me your thoughts on the retro tracks, on the track that we Well, I don't really have much to compare to since I haven't really played the originals. They're interesting, and the points that you give out are interesting. I definitely like the piranha plants, um, you know. Oh, where did I go? <laughs> yeah, I like the piranha plants because, you know, it was just, like, really cool. Seeing the piranha plants, knowing that's what my head can for their lore is, where they had little singing concert practice for Piranha Plants on Parade. <laughs> you know, that's my headcanon. Also, do you, do you think Nintendo sells the trophies? Because I've got so many awards and trophies in my life. <laughs> but I've never received Mario trophies. Like an in real life Mario trophy. I want an ear in will an in real life Mario trophy. I think that would be like one of the best things ever. Think about it. Behind me would be a bunch of Mario trophies. Like, come on Nintendo, why don't you do that? Why don't you just get a bunch of Mario trophies? You'll make bank for like all the collectors. I would be one of them. And then you just, you know, they don't have to be made of real metal. You shouldn't make them out of real metal. You should make them out of plastic. I would love that. You, we can get the, the little Yoshi egg trophy. We can get the special cup. That one was funny. I like the special cup. Um, we could also get the, um, wasn't it like a star? It is a star cup. This one is the, this one is the, 
I was about to call this one the fire cup, but it's not fire. That is a electric spark thingy. Lightning bolt. There we go. <laughs> Lightning bolt. Do you need to go to the bathroom? Um, no, I think I'll be okay. Yeah, we got four more cups. That Does that mean one more room with that? No, 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 that's four more tracks. We have four more cups. We are two-thirds of the way. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So next we are going to play the DLC cups. Not to be confused with the DLC Booster Course Pass cups. Um, these were the Wii U DLC. So what we just played was all of Mario Kart 8, the original. That you like, you know, that you got on the Wii U. You bought the game on the Wii U. Those were all the tracks on that one. And then a little bit into the Wii U, they had DLC tracks where they introduced... Um... The place to have? No, I'll play Stud in the last one. Have I played as Wiggler yet? I'll be Wiggler. Stop changing it. Koopa. Um, so these were introduced, yeah, into the Wii U era. They actually introduced these two first, and then these two came out a few months later. Um, and uh, they were just like some extra tracks. So these were on the Wii U version, and then when Mario Kart 8 Deluxe came out, they came with these tracks on it. So Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, these are not DLC tracks anymore. They're in the base game. Um, and then this is the DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Um, so we actually only started with 32 tracks. And now it's up to 96. That asks the question, where do they go from here? The next <laughs> Mario Kart. Um, clearly because of the Booster Course Pass, there's going to be a little while before the next Mario Kart. It's definitely not going to be an early title on the next Switch console. It probably won't be one of the first games released on it. But... It all, it's got to come at some point. They can't just do Mario Kart 8 forever. So we got the egg cups, Yoshi! and we start with Yoshi Circuit. So I mean, and the piranha plants. <laughs> already an A plus for theming. Um, I love it. Did the baby Yoshi Circuit, and here's the interesting thing about Yoshi Circuit is that Yoshi Circuit is shaped like Yoshi. Oh. Yeah. That it, it would have been shaped like an egg. No, it's a uh, Yoshi shaped island. Um, Man, I didn't get any, any mushroom In fact, just to, uh, I haven't been playing with the map on, but just to show. What? There's the map. Yeah, see? Wait, there it's was one of these this whole like time? Huh? There was one of these things the whole time? Yeah, I, I just found it would be distracting to have the map up. Uh, oh, uh, I rely on it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, we only got a few left. I don't want to have some have the map That's and okay. some not. <laughs> if we play with all of them with the map, that would be different. But yeah, so as you can see, like with this little map that I pulled up, Yoshi Circuit is actually shaped like Yoshi, which is a nice little detail. I'll take it out now, just so it's not there. Um, yeah, why do you, uh, why does the map help you? Because I can know how far someone is from me. Mm-hmm. And I'm able to eye them better and figure out like when they're going to attack me. Oh, gotcha. I don't look at the map at all. I only look at it in DS. DS's map is really useful because it's on the bottom screen. And it's more detailed and it shows you when like a blue shell's coming or when like an item is yeah, coming. Yeah, I don't know how to tell when, when it pops up. Like, I, 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 yeah. I don't understand how to read the Mario logic of the game. Well, they don't tell you when the items are coming on the map. They aren't on the map. Oh. The items are not on the map. I think a blue shell is. I think it puts a blue shell on the map, but I don't think anything else. And maybe bullet bills show someone turns into a bullet bill, but it's not like... In uh, Mario Kart DS, it tells you everything that's on the map. On the bottom screen. So Yoshi Circuit, I mean, it is very standard. Um, like, it's just another, like, kind of grasslands, island, trees <laughs> track. And even in terms of obstacles, there's really not that much. Like, you have the piranha plants, but they're a little off the screen. Oh, my goodness. I botched that last turn, though. I am not playing, though. Oh, I never play that. That was trash. I am a disgrace to Mario Kart. That was terrible. Just went right into the side. You know what the great, the great thing about being a disgrace to Mario Kart? At least he made it proud at some point. <laughs> 
Yeah. Um, yeah, it's actually really not that interesting of a track. There's a lot of twists and turns. Um, oh, no. I think some of the twists and turns are actually a little annoying because it's they, the twists are there so that the track would be shaped by, like, Yoshi. I think this is a C-tier track. Um, and also not the best addition to the, like, DLC tracks. Like, these DLC tracks were big. Um, and this just seems like a very bland addition to it. So yeah, I'd give it even a, I'd give it a C tier, maybe a B tier, but I'd say it's C tier. Um, and also it's a double dash track. Double dash tracks are shorter. Uh, it's also not that long. Yeah, the piranha plants were off the stage, you know, you can get bit by them, but you're already kind of off the stage when you do. Oh, really? So they're not that much of an obstacle. I think the piranha plants are adorable. They're just amazing. Excite Bike Arena is a very interesting track. So the gimmick of Excite this is, Bike... This is sponsored by Bowser. <laughs> Bowser paid for this. So the gimmick of the Excite Bike Arena is that it is different every time you play it. Really? Yeah, the where the... It's, it's a randomized track. So where the boosts are, where the oil slicks are, and where the, and where the jumps are, and where the grass is, everything is randomized. Other than that, it's very basic. You go up and down and up and down. Um, so I don't really know what to rank this as. Like, it's a very tricky track to rank. Because I don't know... I don't know if it's like... Um, like, it's interesting every time you play it. Um, something about this is that on online play, people almost always vote for this track. You know what this track is? This is the, um, this is the, 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 I would say that this is the final destination of Mario Kart. The final, so, what? for those that don't know, in Super Smash Bros, there's a stage called Final Destination, and Based Final Destination, movie? huh? Based on the movie? No. Final Destination is just a flat stage. It's literally, there's no obstacles on it, there's no platforms, there's nothing on it. It's just flat stage. You just go and you fight the guy. And I would say that this is Mario Kart's version of Final Destination. Because um, even though I know there's jumps and stuff, but like that's, you know, Mario Kart has to have jumps. But this is the, yeah, this is the Mario Kart version. And that's, I think, why, ah, oh, I got red shelled on the last turn. Ah, oh, that's terrible. I'm not playing well. Okay, so like this is um this is like the generic like competitive track for Mario Kart. I'm in third place against AI. Terrible. Terrible playing on my part. Um we'll, we'll Okay. Um, but yeah, like it's, so yeah, it's like final destination. So, uh, it's a B tier. I'd actually say it's B tier. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. So. Okay. Dragon drift away. So that dragon is actually a Mario boss called gobble gut from Super Mario Galaxy 2. Oh. Mm -hmm. I didn't finish the game. <laughs> and um, this is an interesting track because it's pretty much entirely done as um, in Zero Gravity. This is a... Oh, well, and... That's why I can't figure stuff out in Zero Gravity. I've been playing too much Mario Kart. I'm just burned out. I'm not playing well at all. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it fell off again. I will say these DLC tracks, um... No, I mean, I guess they don't have higher difficulty. Like, those weren't even harder tracks. Like, Excite Bike Arena is so standard. As is Yoshi Circuit. I just, I just played bad on the last turns and got bad. This is not an easy track. I would say that this is a, this is a pretty difficult track. Like, with the turns and the falling off, um themed very well you know it's based off a dragon this is one of those tracks where you are you are racing against the i am falling off i'm doing terrible 
where um, this is one of those tracks where you are racing against the track itself rather than like there being like obstacles like a piranha plant might eat you or Goombas walking around you know you have to just race well you have to go on the track and not fall off uh, very similar to you know like Rainbow Roads is like you know you just want to not fall off um, I believe Rainbow Roads have obstacles But, yeah, so I would say this is a solid, would I call this an S-tier track? It's either A or S. Um, it's definitely very high ranked. It's very good. I, I can't play this game right now. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not good at this game. I don't know how to play Mario Kart anymore. I've just forgotten. I've forgotten the controls. I forgot how to drive. Ooh, I got first place. Okay, never mind. I'm good at Mario Kart again. No, I'm actually good at Mario Kart. Forget, forget what I said. I oh, oh. <laughs> did not know that that could happen. You can fall off while being a bullet bill. You should have let him pick you up before you used it. I feel you, buddy. When are you going to get hit in the animation with the blue shell? Because <laughs> I shot a blue shell at you. The blue shell, actually, it locks onto the target that is now in the highest place after the person finishes. So if like first, second, and third have already finished, it'll lock on to fourth. Okay, so this is Mute City. This is actually based off of F Zero, not off of Mario Kart. Um, I find it strange that so this is actually our first crossover track. Uh, I I guess Excite Bike is not Mario either, so I guess it's our second crossover track. But Excite Bike feels like less of a crossover track because Excite Bike is just so like. Excite Bike is just like the regular world, so it doesn't feel as much like the crossover. It technically is, but it doesn't feel like it. But this is the first one where it's like, this is straight up in another character's universe. And the weird thing is, is Captain Falcon didn't end up being a character in Mario Kart, which I found a little disappointing. I mean, I don't love the non-Mario characters anyway, like that there are non-Mario characters. I think they were very good at not having too much non-Mario characters. And considering that the Booster Course Pass does not have any tracks that aren't from Mario, I don't think they're going to turn it into, like, Nintendo Kart or, like, Super Smash Kart, which I do not want. Um, I think the subtle references to other series is just enough. Um, so this is the F-Zero track, where they have a track based around F-Zero, which is kind of funny because Mario Kart is kind of the reason that F-Zero isn't around, because Nintendo had F-Zero. F-Zero actually came... Was F-Zero before or after Mario Kart? They came out at around the same time, both on the Super Nintendo. And F-Zero kind of stopped getting games because, like, Mario Kart does so well. And F-Zero kind of did do well. F-Zero has not had a game in almost 20 years. Um, but it does sometimes get referenced. It just got F-Zero 99. Um, and this was kind of F-Zero getting a little bit of love. Um... And these tracks are great. Like, these are very... This is a fun track to play. Um, uh, I like that the Captain Falcon says, Show me your moves. Uh, I love Captain Falcon, by the way. I'm a Captain Falcon main in Smash. So that's why I say that Captain Falcon should have kind of been a character. I mean, if Link's going to be a character, you might as well have Captain Falcon be a character. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, that's, you know, that's a solid A-tier track. Like, very, very fun to play. Very fun to go around. Um... I don't know if I call it S just because I mean it's F Zero, so I don't really have the biggest idea of the theming. I haven't really played F Zero. I know it's like in space and stuff. I mean it's a very beautiful, like futuristic city, the track. But I'd say it's still A tier. It doesn't stand out to me that much over the other like S tier tracks, so that's why I call it A. But it's definitely a high A. Very well designed, very um Yeah, very very interesting track. Um and also kinda cool to have an F Zero track. There is one other F Zero track. Uh, that we will play uh, soon. Um, and I actually still got in first place for the Grand Prix, which is good. I thought I wasn't. Cause That's good. That, that cup is the worst I've played so far today. And I've still got, like, in last place, so... <laughs> yeah, that hasn't changed. You tried your best. <laughs> Yay. Yay. And now I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, now you need to go to the bathroom. Yeah.
I didn't need to go earlier. I go to the bathroom now, so you can entertain them. Gotcha. So, yeah, so playing Mario Kart. Um, we're gonna do. Who do you wanna play as? I can pick your person. Um, this one. Uh, Ludwig. His name's not Ludwig. Ludwig van Koopa. I think his name was like. Like, like, Kooky or something. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll play as Peachette. Twist my arm, will ya? <laughs> Peachette should have been a palette swap. They should just have skins. They need to bite the bullet and have skins in Mario Kart. Instead of these, like, whole other characters. Like, Peachette shouldn't be a whole character. Um, she's a little more distinct than Peach than you'd think, because the hat is very different, and the, the pigtails and stuff, but it's still very similar. It's just like you're playing as Peach. In fact, I wouldn't have even noticed Peachette if it wasn't one of the new characters that they just added. Uh, that they just added to the game like two weeks ago. Um, but yeah, what's our next one? We have three left. Um, yeah, this is... So yeah, we only got a few left. Um, yeah, we're going to do the uh, Triforce Cup next. So, this is where... so yeah, I do not want... Um... Um, I do not want to have, uh, Nintendo Kart be the next Mario Kart. Um, definitely don't, I definitely don't think that it fits. I don't think that all the Nintendo characters should be in one racing game, and it certainly shouldn't replace Mario Kart if they were. Uh, because, like, Mario Kart, you know, look at all the different, like, tracks that are in the Mario universe. And it's like what I said about, like, Donkey Kong. Like, DK Jungle is just the regular jungle. Because Donkey Kong is kind of like a guest in Mario's world. So all you get with DK Jungle... All you get with Donkey Kong's tracks is a jungle. So if you had Mario... If you had Nintendo Kart, you would really... You'd only get... <laughs> Careful. Knocked out the wire. You Okay. I hit the table. Yeah, you hit the table. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I got that message. Um, we gotta send our our here. I'm gonna put you up. Uh, here before we select the next thing, we gotta send our our acting reels for this thing. We're we're getting we're in the process of getting an acting job. So I just gotta send that really quick. Cause I don't want to keep them waiting while we're streaming. Um. Do I have my acting reel on Google Drive? I think I think so. Is it my most recent one? Acting reels. I think I have mine. Yeah, I have your link. Oh, you can send it. To... Yeah, yeah, send send him that one. Um, yeah, send them that. Send them just a link to that. Yeah. There we go. Um, this mine. This is my most recent one. Yes, this is my most recent one. Okay. Yeah, I just want to see what we look like. Copy link. Oh wait, do I have it where I can share it? Internet access. Anyone with the link. Okay, cool. Do you send it? Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. Yeah, sorry, uh, audience. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we have to conduct some acting business. The thing with, like, uh, you know, acting is, is you, you gotta, you know, you sometimes always have to be kind of on call. So, I gotta speak to myself back yeah, here. trying to get, yeah, Emily and I, um, we might be, uh, in a movie tomorrow. Yay! Um, yeah, we might be going to uh, yeah, film uh, <laughs> film for some background roles, so we uh, just wanted to get that all set. All right, we're on the Triforce Cup. Yes, let's go. The Triforce. Triforce Cup. Yeah, like Zelda. Link? Like Zelda. Yeah. Zelda. Wario's Gold Mine. 
So do you think Wario? Wario? Do you think Wario um fun this? <laughs> Wario fun of this? No, Wario. Wario wouldn't give him a, a penny. Wario's making money off of this. Wario has the gold mine, and then um. <laughs> Wario's making money off of this. Oh no! Wario had the gold mine already, and uh, he's just like letting you use it, and it's totally no. dangerous too. Like like Wario totally skimped on the regulations. Uh, everything on here is an OSHA violation because Wario just wants to maximize his profit margins. Yeah, Wario didn't spend a dime on Mario Kart. He's making money. <laughs> Um, wow. Yeah. That's why they couldn't get Wario's gold mine until the DLC, because he was being so stingy about it. They had to negotiate with him. And it didn't make it into the base game of Mario Kart 8. And it was like, alright, alright, come on, Wario. And Wario's like, ah, wow, fine. <laughs> you can oh. use my gold mine. Why'd you make him sound like Dracula? Uh, my Wario's not that good. <laughs> Wario! <laughs> You're gonna get blue shell, yo. I <laughs> get lightning and blue shell. Uh, one difference from the remake that I don't like is that the mine carts give you a boost now. In the original Wii version, those mine carts were terrible. They would destroy you because you would just you would get you would get hit by them. Like now they give you a boost. It's weird to get a boost. I keep falling off. I've fallen off like five times. How am I still in first? I don't deserve to be in first. No, you don't. Give it to me. <laughs> I really don't. Oh my goodness. If I'm if I still finish first, is that the fifth time I've fallen off? How am I still doing this well with that many times falling off? I don't deserve to be in twelve. <laughs> That's a pretty to be in twelve. Yeah. Um. So I mean, I love the ambiance no. of this one. I think the original is better than the remake. Just because of the the carts letting it be easy. We bump off them. What? Was that him saying no? <laughs> yeah. Wario's gold mine. Um, I am conflicted between B and A tier. Nah, I think it's B tier. It feels like an amusement park ride, and that definitely brings it up. It's a B tier. It's a B tier track. I don't think it's an A. I think it's a B tier. You had a lot of trouble on this one, huh? Oh, you don't have your thing on. That's why. You don't have your easy mode. I don't know when it got turned off. I didn't turn it off for you, but I realize you're falling off when you shouldn't be. <laughs> I don't know how long you've had it off. <laughs> you definitely had it on um, from earlier in the play session. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how... We'll have to go back through the footage and see when, when the easy mode actually went off. It was, at some point I paused it, you must have hit the button, and I didn't notice. Don't blame it on me, you took my remote. I didn't touch your remote. You, you, you were like, oh, I'll pick it for you. I'll that wasn't it. when it got changed. It couldn't have gotten changed then. It would get changed, um, it would have gotten changed when it paused. Yeah, there's a point when I paused it, and uh, it must have taken out your easy mode. Yeah, Emily has to play on easy mode. Alright, Snash Rainbow Road. Um, strange how much they brought this one back. Like, because this was just in Mario Kart 7 at the time. So this was a double remake. I think this is the only double remake. Like, this is the only uh... track that got remade in both Mario Kart 7 at the time. Now with the booster course pass, there were uh, multiple double remakes. Oh. Like Waluigi Pinball, um, Coconut Mall, those have been remade now multiple times. But I think this is the first time there was a double remake. I could be wrong. I don't remember where Uncle Mine was too. Um, but honestly, I mean, of all Rainbow Roads, this one was not more deserving. It was not more deserving at the time to get one. Like Wii Rainbow Road was more iconic. Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Road was more iconic. Those both got to be in the Booster Course Pass, but. Both of those Rainbow Roads would have been a better choice than this one in the DLC for Mario Kart 8. Uh, probably Wii's Rainbow Road actually should have had this spot. Um, but even uh, GameCube Rainbow Road is, is, I think, better. I think GameCube Rainbow Road is very underrated, very cool. 
Um, it's not more deserving of a booster course pass slot than we or um, we or Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Road, but it's more deserving than this one. Again, short. You know, it's a very short track. It was originally in the SNES, which had five laps, so it's very tiny. It's a tiny Rainbow Road. Both Rainbow Road remakes in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe were, and I'm getting second place. Um, both Rainbow Road remakes suffer from being a little too short. Now, with that being said, this is actually still a good remake. It's a very challenging track. It translated well, other than the length. Other than it being a little too short, it did translate well. And also, they didn't make it the last track of the cup, which I think I appreciate because it didn't, it's not, like, it's them acknowledging that it's not that exciting of a Rainbow Road as opposed to some of the other ones that are usually the last track of the cup. Uh, but yeah, I'd say this is probably a B tier. I'd say even it being a Rainbow Road doesn't push it into A. I'd say this is a B tier track. Um, SNES Rainbow Road. It's just like, you know, it's a SNES track. Like, is a SNES track that doesn't have anything added to it really going to go higher than a B tier? Okay, Ice Ice Outpost. Ice Ice Baby. My opinion on this track has actually changed a lot um, since I first played it. Because I used to hate this track. Uh, because it would get picked all the time in online. And I struggled at it a lot because of all the twists and turns. Uh, but then I got good, and I memorized the track, and I started to really like it. I actually, I think the multiple, you know, the red and, the red, the yellow and green, uh, paths here, I think work really well together, where, like, you're kind of going between the paths to try and go the fastest way. Um, I think this is actually a really cool track. It's a little underwhelming, I guess, theme-wise. Because it's a DLC track, you know, because with the DLC, you know, with the booster course pass, there were so many new tracks. They were giving you 48 new tracks. But with the DLC back in Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U, your DLC was really limited. You know, you were only getting 16 new tracks. So when one of them was, you know, a track like this or even a track like Yoshi Circuit, it's like, oh, like... That's really it, you know? But looking at it on its own, and just it being one other track within 96, this is actually a really good track. Um, and I like its theming. Like, I think the, you know, it's not like just generic snow track. Am I getting blue shelled? I got hit by the blue <laughs> It's not just a generic snow track. Like, it's like a research station in the Arctic, which I think is really cool. Um, yeah, and it's, it's a really good path, and it's a very hard track. Like, this is a very challenging track to get right. Um, if you're not racing well on it, like, you are going to get tripped up on it. Um, I had to really learn how to do this track, and I'm going to get second. No, I got first. Okay, I got first. Yeah, but this is a very difficult track, so I would say that this is actually an A-tier track. When you really look at all of its parts together and what it is, um, and you look at it as a track where it's not about, you know... It's not about racing against it. It might get lowered into B just because it does lack... It does lack a few Mario elements to it, I would say. I'd say that there's some... Um, that there's some uh, things that it lacks. We have uh, Bryce in the chat. Hello, Bryce. Um, have you played Mario Kart 8? If so, what's your favorite track? He's long gone. Oh, really? Yeah, this is from earlier. How I tried showing you the phone. How long ago did you send that? <laughs> like a while ago when I kept showing it to you. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm paying attention to Mario Kart tracks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when it, the one viewer is always me, and then there's like four or five coming in now. Yeah. Alright, so now we got Hyrule Circuit. So this is a uh, crossover track. Um, one thing that I love is that the coins are rupees. Um, rupees? Rupees is the currency in Zelda. Oh. So a green rupee is, is one, you know, one rupee um, in Zelda. 
There's also this cool little thing that I didn't activate. There's a little shortcut there where if you get all three of the boosts, that it opens up a secret path. Isn't money in India called rupees too? Yes, money in India is also So, which one came first? Rupees in India, I think, or before Zelda. <laughs> uh, but I actually don't know that for sure, historically. I'm pretty sure India didn't name their currency after Zelda. <laughs> I mean, that would have been kind of cool. Yeah, they're just a whole country of gamers. <laughs> 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 they love, they love uh, Zelda so much. We are Zelda number one fan. <laughs> This, like, you know, this dude that I'm playing as, his no, no pain and agony freaks me out. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is a really well done trick. Like, it's, it knows it's theming. I think it suffers from kind of the same issue as uh, DK Jungle does. Whereas because... Uh, Zelda only will get one track because it's a, you know, Link is a guest in Mario Kart. You can only do the most generic Zelda, you know, the castle and the things. There's so many places in Zelda that are interesting, but they had to do the castle. But for what it is, it's very good. It does represent a lot of the game very well. I would say it's a solid A tier track. Um, it's not one I always find myself revisiting. It's definitely a little light. I got destroyed by my own bomb. It's definitely a little light in terms of obstacles, um, especially because Zelda has so many enemies and you don't really see any of them there. Um, but yeah, yeah, A tier. I stopped raiding them a long time ago. I was like. I forgot I was supposed to make them too. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'm just kind of jamming with the music. <laughs> I'm glad you're having a nice time. I am. Do, 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 do. Me keeps trying to look at the camera to figure out what side my hair is on. <laughs> because it's like looking at a mirror. I think. Alright, we got two more. I'm going to be Diddy Kong. Okay, can I be Girl Diddy Kong? There is no Girl Diddy Kong. They didn't put Dixie Kong in. How could you not put Girl Diddy Kong, but you put whoever this dude is? Funky Kong? And That's actually true. Funky Kong got in before Dixie Kong uh, to Mario Kart. That is interesting, because Dixie, Dixie Kong has never been in Mario Kart. He also got in before King K. Rule. Like, I would think that in the hierarchy of, like, Donkey Kong characters, you have Donkey Kong and then Diddy Kong are, like, the two most important characters in Donkey Kong. Uh, and then after that is really King K. Rool. Like, King K. Rool is a villain. Um, and then from there you have Dixie Kong, who is, you know, a playable character in Donkey Kong Country 2, who actually wasn't in the original. Oh, wait, I should play as Isabel because of Animal Crossing. You want to play as Isabel? Yeah. And then after that, you have... Um... No, wait. I want to play as Villager. <laughs> and then after that, you'd have... Yeah, you'd have Funky Kong or Cranky Kong. Um... You want a different cart? You want the Animal Crossing cart? Yeah. Did I unlock it? I don't think I unlocked it. That's it. Oh, uh, no, that's just a bike. Oh. Yeah, I, I didn't unlock it. I didn't unlock every cart. I don't know how you unlock every cart. I got the Animal Crossing cart. Oh, I probably use a, that, um, I, I think I probably scanned the Animal Crossing in the... Oh, you scanned the Amiibo? I scanned the Amiibo in mine. And then we have, like, all the Amiibos right there. We just gotcha. haven't scanned it. Alright, oh, Yoshi. Baby Park. Baby Park was in the DLC, too? Wow, that's even worse. That's so disappointing. Um... Baby Park is not a good track. Sorry. Controversial opinion, I know. I I'm not a fan of it. Um, it only works in the original because of the giant Bowser shell. Like, that's the whole gimmick of Baby Park, is that if you play it in Double Dash, you're most likely going to play against Bowser, and Bowser gets a giant Bowser shell, and the giant Bowser shell is flying through Baby Park. That's, th that's, the, that's the whole point of Baby Park. 
I mean, I don't like babies, so. Baby, so. <laughs> yeah, any anything else, like, this Baby Park has never worked in any other Mario Kart game because of that. Like, I don't know why they keep trying to make Baby Park work. And what's so weird about Baby Park Propaganda. is that... Propaganda. <laughs> what's so weird about Baby Park is that it takes place in an amusement park. But it's the tiniest track. So, like, what you think would be, like, oh, we want to go through a whole amusement park. Like, the background is more interesting than the track itself. Like, look at all those cool things in the background. You know, why am I not on Bowser's ship? You know, why, why are we not going over a roller coaster? Like, we're just going in a circle. Yeah, uh, Baby Park is, uh, yeah. Got Baby Park is a D-tier track. Definitely a D-tier track. Um, I personally like <laughs> when they're shorter, but, like, you have to go around them multiple times. Yeah. Like this, because I actually have a chance of getting in a higher level. Mm -hmm. You like, I, I think you'd like it in the original. It's very chaotic in the original. There's the there's there's this item in Double Dash where Bowser just gets a giant Bowser shell, and there's just this giant Bowser shell. They should have just added the giant Bowser shell. There should have been a cannon that shot out giant Bowser shells because they don't have it as an item anymore. Yeah. Um, that's what they should have done. But they didn't. But they Missed did. opportunity. So D tier. <laughs> so it gets D tier. Uh, one of the few. I think that's the only D tier in the base tracks that I've had so far. And there were only like three in the booster course pass. Very few D tiers. Korea's Cheese Road. <laughs> Cheese Land. So this is a GBA track. This might be the best remake of a GBA track. Uh, I'm gonna critically examine how long it is because GBA. Oh no, this is not. Sorry, there's one other GBA remake that I was totally um... forgetting about. That is going to be the best GBA remake. But this might be the second best GBA remake. I think I'm changing who my main is. <laughs> yeah. Animal Crossing Woman. Animal Crossing Woman. Um, I mean, they definitely make it more interesting with some of the jumps. You know, because every GBA track was totally flat. Completely flat track. Um, but this one is... Uh, you know, there's a little more twists and turns. Yeah, it's a little short. Uh, I don't think it's too short. I feel like... Did they extend it? It doesn't feel as short as some of the other GBA ones. And I like, you know, that it's, like, made of cheese. I don't know, like, where did the mice go? Like, there were mice in the original. That was, like, the whole thing. Yeah, there's mice in the original going and grabbing the cheese. And this just feels very empty without mice in it eating the cheese. It also looks a little too much like a desert. It should look more like cheese, less like a desert. They should have made it on the moon. They should have made it on the moon. That's, Higher me that Nintendo. True. It should have been on the moon. Yeah, that's true. That would have been cool. Maybe they just don't know the tale of, you know, moon cheese and stuff. Because mm -hmm. I know in Japan, they they think um, the the bunnies are making mochi on on the moon. So you think it's like that's an American myth? I think that might be American. The moon being made of cheese. Yeah, like gotcha. I know culturally, it. And lightning. Can be nope, no super horn. Lightning damn blue shell. Actually, getting lightning before blue shell is actually kind of good because everyone gets slowed down with lightning. Uh, so maybe I like. Waited. No, <laughs> should have thrown it right when you did, because I'm still in first. Yeah, I'd actually say. Oh, am I getting second? No, ah, Rosalina with the three shells getting me right at the end. Ouch. Not playing well. It's okay, I never play well. <laughs> you know, when you set your expectations with video games low, you have more fun. I know I'm not going to ever be first. So, you know. You know what, I'm not the skills of the channel. I'm the face of the channel. I'm here for the memes, for the looks, to fan girl <laughs> all over characters like Bowser. Oh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's B tier, by the way. Cheese Land. Ah. I don't know if I mentioned that. Just so we have it. Alright, Wild Woods. So Wild Woods is a brand new track. It's not a remake of an old one. Um, and I think Wild Woods is a very pretty track. But of like all the new things to make, um, I feel like there's already like Woods track. Although I like the like uh, pixie, you know, 
uh, treetop village angle it's going with. Um, also, for a brand new track, I feel it's not that long. Um, I could be wrong, but it feels like a pretty short track. Yeah, like, this is like already the end. Um, I think there are longer tracks out there than this. Uh, this is also, I think, is this track entirely zero gravity? It starts zero gravity. Because you start, like, going up. But I think it stops being zero gravity like in the middle. Oh, I'm gonna stay in second because the blue shell's coming. Oh, they got blue shelled over the pit. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. Thanks. Okay. Got a banana. Oh, I threw my banana instead of holding it behind me. Okay, now I'm weak. Now I got no defense. Yeah, I forgot how small Wild Woods was and how much it lacked obstacles. Uh, I think Wild Woods is only going to be a B tier. I don't think I can give it C. I think it's good enough to be at least B, just with its design and ambiance. But yeah, it's a little. Oh, I got a coin when I'm about to get hit by a red shell. <laughs> that was the worst time to get a coin because a red shell's coming at me. I'm like, come on, give me a banana. Nope, no banana. Oh, now I get bananas when I need a red shell. Oh, okay, cool. I made it first. Oh, no. I just got all my coins. And then I lost a bunch. Now I'm slow again. Bullet William! Well, I did terrible. <laughs> I did bad. It was trash. <laughs> I did bad. Hey, we're gonna get a fun. We're gonna get a fun one right now. We're getting the Animal Crossing track. I'm Let's see what be season my we favorite. get. My favorite. It's gonna be Tom Nook. It's gonna be hot. Oh look, we got Christmas one. You know what they say. We start talking about Christmas in December. Santa has to put down an elf. No, in November, before December. What did I say? You said in December. If you start in talking, November. if you talk about Christmas in November, Santa has to kill an elf. Yes. Okay, but I want to see my, I want to see my boy Tom Nook. <laughs> I'm here more for the sight. I'm oh, totally going to get last place. Also, the uh, coins are actually bells. Oh, like, they're cute. the bell coins. Uh, they have different... Uh... Oh, yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Not me going slow because I just want to see the scenery. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is a great representation of Animal Crossing. It's so funny, when this came out, um, Animal Crossing was on such a hiatus when uh, the DLC came out and it had not Animal me. Crossing. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. This is me the whole game. <laughs> I'm just I'm just going to stay right here, okay? <laughs> you just want to see Tom Nook? Yeah. Tom Nook. <laughs> I'm not moving. <laughs> I'm I'm safe here. He just passed you. I don't care. Oh, get blue shelled. Look at him. He's just adorable. Come down here and give me a hug. <laughs> so yeah, Animal Crossing is is a great track. Um, I would say it's actually very short again. Um, oh man, I'm doing terribly. I'm racing like garbage. Oh, that's funny. I guess I had mushrooms on me, so when I got shocked, the mushroom came out, but I gave became <laughs> big. Okay, but it better it better end it automatically with you in last place, with you just sitting there, looking at the looking at the scenery. <laughs> I like Tom Nook. <laughs> I think it does end automatically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll go. Sorry, Tom Nook. <laughs> My boyfriend's okay, getting jealous over a Tanuki. <laughs> Blathers. But yeah, uh, so this is a, yeah, I think it's only going to be a B tier. Maybe A tier. I like the Changing Seasons gimmick. The Changing Seasons doesn't change the track that much. There's only a few things that it does differently when it has a different season. But yeah, I give it a, I give it a, a B tier. B tier. Yeah, B tier. But yeah, it was funny when this came out. It seemed like, oh, they were going to make a new Animal Crossing. Oh my goodness, you do have to actually finish the race. Oh. So at the time, it seemed like they were going to make a new Animal Crossing. Because uh, there was definitely supposed to be an Animal Crossing on the Wii U. 
Like, New Horizons was, like, planned for the Wii U. The Wii U was failing. And they had Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Bleh. Um, and the Wii U just never got an Animal Crossing. And then even with the Switch, like, it was, like, three years into the Switch before the Switch got Animal Crossing. Like, it's actually kind of crazy how long it took for the Switch to get Animal Crossing, considering that the Wii U did not have one at all. Um, and during this time, there was all this love for Animal Crossing. They had the Animal Crossing amiibo, like, you know, things. Like, they, they had an amiibo... They had amiibos for Animal Crossing. Hello. And for everything on the Wii U with Animal Crossing, they never got an actual game until New Horizons on the Switch. Um... And the presence of Animal Crossing in Mario Kart is, like, the most that Animal Crossing got in the Wii U era. Oh, yeah, I also love that they do the, the roost <laughs> for that. There was no rooster? No, it's just the roost music for when you uh, finish. Oh, that's awesome. I don't think you actually see Brewster. Okay, we have one more cup to do. Woo! We have one last cup. The Super Bell Cup. Alright, we got one last to do. And I'm going to finish it off as Toadette. My main. I'll be Mario. <laughs> yeah, but I think my new main's probably going to be Villager Girl. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I would totally dye my hair if it wasn't such a long process. <laughs> now, I have a pink wig somewhere in there. Yeah, I haven't played as Mario yet. Alright, this is the last one. Huh, the last course we're going to play is Big Blue, of all courses. Big Blue? Mm-hmm. An F-Zero track. Seems like a strange last course um, of, like, all of the Mario Karts. Uh, like, all the Mario Kart courses, all 96. We've played almost 48 tracks today. This is a Bowser level. This, yes, Neo Bowser City. This is another one of those tracks that doesn't have a lot of obstacles. Which I think is a little bit of a missed opportunity. I think there could have been... Since it's a Bowser stage, there should have been like Bowser's minions attacking you. But yeah, this is one of those tracks where it's kind of you're racing against the course itself. It relies on getting good course memorization, good sharp turns, turning at the right oh, time. Oh, so I'm screwed. Yeah, that's kind of how this track works. Rather than avoiding obstacles. Well, I don't remember if the rain actually affects how you drive in this track. Ah, oh, I totally look right in this shell. It does. Yeah, you drive differently because it's raining? Well, I drive differently in the rain because I can't drive. <laughs> I'm from California. <laughs> California. So Bowser has a whole city. More than just a castle. He has a whole city that he has control over. I wonder how that works. No, this is where his people live. Yeah, it's where the Koopa Troop lives? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't all live in the castle. That's true, they probably wouldn't all live in the castle. Like, they need to commute to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yoshi just dropping a banana right in front of me. Yoshi's just a baby. Yeah, what about the super hard that baby? No! Oh, I got zapped. You should super horn it. You can't super horn the zap. Oh, I got in the first, but I didn't get an item. Uh, but yeah, Neo Bowser City is a really cool stage. It's very well designed. It is lacking obstacles. I think it could have had more obstacles, more Mario enemies. But it looks super cool. I would say it's an A tier track. Um, in both challenge being engaging. It's a 3DS track. It's a remake of the 3DS track. Oh. And, yeah. Three, oh, I actually fell off because of the blooper. Um, that was from me, probably. <laughs> Usually I do really well with the bloopers. I don't get, um, I don't get thrown off by them as much. But yeah, this is a solid A-tier track. A lot of these, um, base game DLC tracks are pretty solid A-tiers. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mamma mamma mia. Oh no, I'm thinking of my Shaloma. Is it Shaloma? <laughs> Here's the best GBA remake, Ribbon Road. 
So Ribbon Road in the original did not look like this. It did not look like a child's bedroom. It was like a present world. But I think the remake is really cool. What I like about the remake is that it's like... They add like the creative freedom to really change it. This is what happens when you remake a track and you can make it a lot different. Uh, I don't know if it's actually longer than the original. Um, it feels longer than the original, but that might just be because it has so much more scale to it. Um, and then those guys are new, the little, like, toy guys, the, the, what are those guys called? I know they're in a lot of Mario games, I don't know what they're called, actually. And whatever you, those things are. Yeah, the little guys that you throw at Bowser in the final boss of Super Mario World. Um, they're new. But yeah, this is a really cool track. The way that it's, like, you know, it's ribbon road, so, like, the way that the ribbon moves makes you, uh, and I'm gonna get that shot. Because all I have is coin. <laughs> I'm getting blue shell. I got red shelled and blue shelled. Now I just need to get green shelled and purple shelled. Just to get all the shells. <laughs> hit me with every shell. Hit me with your best shell. <laughs> Why not just hit me with your best shell? Hit me with your best shell. Uh -oh. I actually, unpopular opinion, I like the GBA Ribbon Road music better. I think the GBA had, uh, I think it was a more exciting soundtrack. Um, although the, the new Ribbon Road soundtrack does fit this version of Ribbon Road better. So I still think it's a good soundtrack, I just prefer the original track. Like if I were to just listen to both songs, uh, I would rather listen to the original Ribbon Road. But if I would say which track would be better to be background music in this particular course, I would say the, the new one would be better but yeah this is an s tier track i mean it's just it's great it has a concept it follows through on it it's a great remake it's just a great track it might be a little short because it's a gba track i really don't i really yeah, can't tell and if i can't tell that it's too short then i guess it doesn't really matter if it's short i think that's the only gba remake that got an s tier <laughs> Super Bell Subway. This track is difficult. I would say that I lose this one the most when I play online. Whenever I get Super Bell Subway, I just I get hit by all of them. Uh, this track also has the most like cool details in the background stuff. You can actually see um, it has the name of other Mario Kart tracks. Like it says, like Yoshi Valley is that way. Uh, like, Music Park is the other way. I think it's, like, a mess. Like, if you actually look at it, it doesn't make any sense, like, how the all these places could be connected by Subway. But I think it's still cool. Um, but, yeah, this is also an original track. Um, so I think that's really that's really awesome. Um, well, that didn't last long. <laughs> I was in first for a millisecond. <laughs> but, yeah, this nice. is... This is a good track. Good ambiance, good challenge, a lot of obstacles. The subways are very hard to avoid. Um, I usually get hit by w at least one throughout the track. Um, oh. Oh. And you gotta know when to turn, you gotta know when to do it. So yeah, this is a very good track. This is uh, between A and S. Um, I think I call it an A because it is actually... Eh, it's not that short. But it's definitely very, it's very straightforward. It's kind of similar to the problem that Toad's Turnpike has, where because of the cars, it has to be a very straightforward track. So with this one, there aren't a lot of twists and turns because it's mostly about avoiding the, um, it's mostly about avoiding all of the subways, which I'm actually doing a pretty decent job doing. Yay, I'm not hitting that many subways. That's nice. And I hit a four. And I'm on the gravel. And I'm still in first. Good for me. <laughs> I'm at 12. Good for me. Ah, uh, I just botched the strategy. I shouldn't have used the coin before I hit the question mark block. Because if you have a coin, the second item won't also be a coin. Um. Mamma mia. Alright. Uh-oh. Why, uh-oh. 
because I got a 12th place. Oh. Well, this is the last that track. me. Because I got him. I got him. Wait, the intro music is different. Yeah, it's F Zero. So Big Blue is a mega track. I love mega tracks. I love tracks that go, you know, just one one path. Um, I find this this is the better of the two F Zero tracks. Um, although I actually think the first F Zero track looks cooler because it looks more science fictiony. Whereas this F Zero track looks more like a normal place. I mean the, you know, the actual track is science fiction but then it's like it's kind of like a normal tropical place um i still think the ambiance is super cool here it feels kind of like a big water slide <laughs> and now the water speeds you up but gameplay wise it's great um yeah i say this is an s tier track like it's a good one to finish off on um it's not the top of the s tier but it's definitely an s tier track i'd say it's really fun to play through and i love the mega tracks um not that long though. I am feeling like it's kind of short. Um, so uh, maybe I could bump it down to A tier, but I think this is an S tier track. I'd say it's an S tier. Uh, hey, can you do me a favor and not? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh wait, someone else was in first. So thanks. You helped me. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks for throwing that blue shell for me. Yeah, a little bit of reverse psychology. No, I didn't know I was going to get passed. First. Yeah, it is kind of short. Um, Mount Wario is like the only mega track that doesn't feel short, <laughs> I'd say. And maybe uh, 3DS Rainbow Road. Alright, we have now played and ranked every Mario Kart 8 Deluxe track. Yeah. So from here, we are going to... I forgot to rank both of them because I was okay. either like fangirling for Bowser or I just started zoning out. <laughs> that's okay. I ranked them all. Cool. So that's that's all right. All right. We did it. Yay! We did it! We, we saved Bikini Bottom! We saved Bikini Bottom. I'm going to switch the battery. We got one other thing that we're going to do. What are we gonna do? I want to do that challenge we were talking no, about. No, 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 I don't want the piranha plants to die. Why did I say Goombas? <laughs> oh man, those batteries actually aren't charged. Huh? Um, I think we should just keep it with this battery. It should be okay. Even though it'll be okay? Do you have to use the bathroom? Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> do you have to use the bathroom? I do. Yeah, okay, go to the bathroom. Do you need to go? Yeah, I'll go after you. Oh, that was funny. It turned, um... Yeah, I know. Here, I'll get, uh, I'll get our Mario Wonder set up. Okay. I'm gonna climb through here now that the camera's off. Now. You entertain the... I'll entertain the masses. Alright, let's switch over my... I'm gonna switch over my interface here. All right, now I'm in the bottom corner because we're playing a little Mario Wonder now. So we are going to do a challenge that I thought of where we are going to play Piranha Plants on Parade, but we are going to try and kill as many Piranha Plants as possible. <laughs> Who do you want to play as, Em? Mario? Okay, I'll just, I'll just get myself set up there. Okay, so the first question is... 
What should my power up be for it? But maybe I should be. I should play as Yoshi. Then I'll be killing the babies. No, I'm gonna need your help. Aww. But I don't want to kill the babies. May I just jump over you? No. <laughs> okay, so you entertain the message now. You talk about how you. Tell us about why you love piranha plants on parade. I like piranha plants on parade because they're just little babies. Oh yeah, now you can see me again. Because <laughs> they're just the little babies and they go la 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 Because they're really cute. It's like, it's like these, these little like, you know, these deadly little plants that go and then they're just stinging all cutely and it's like, you know, usually you kill piranha plants, but then it put a soft spot in my heart and I'm like, they got babies! And I'm like, oh my god, they are the babies. And I'm like, that's so cool. And I'm like, I can't, I, I, I can't hurt the piranha plants. They're so cute and tiny and they're little babies. They're little babies. Yeah, I don't really have much else to say to why I like piranha plants. Besides the fact that they just started, like, singing. And they're just, you know, I like their little tummy. Like, they have these tiny little baby legs and this fat, chubby little tummy. And I'm like, oh my god. And a long neck and they're like they go we have a piranha plant um slippers that are just chilling in the kitchen because it comes like in like a in like a warp pipe holder okay so i'm gonna introduce the challenge so here's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. We are going to play Piranha Plants on Parade. But we hate music. No. So we are going to knock out all of the singing piranha plants that we can. We are trying to see how many singing piranha plants can we knock out. There are a few that spawn in places where we can't get them. So what we're going to do first is we're going to play... We're going to play... Are you sad? You don't want to kill the piranha plants. <laughs> you don't want to kill the babies. Okay, but it's an important mission from Toadsworth. Toadsworth can disappear. Toadsworth needs us to take out the plants. Their singing is what hypnotizes you. That's why they're evil. They sing to make you like them, and then they infiltrate the world and they take it over. They're just like that plant from that movie. Don't traumatize me with that plant. They're just like the plant from Little Shop no, of Horrors. No, 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 no. But these sing. That's different. That plant sings too. Yeah, but Feed this... me see more. Feed me all night long. Because if you feed me see more. Um, yeah, but the piranha plants are actually adorable. The piranha like, plants are adorable. And then what is it? Audrey 2, the name of the plant is? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Yeah. That plant's creepy. Well, that's why these plants are so much more dangerous. No. Because they're cute. Yeah, but here's the thing. I feel safe when I'm around piranha plants. I feel like calling HR around Audrey, too, okay? Well, you can't turn down a mission from Toadsworth, all right? Toadsworth says that these plants must be eliminated. So, we're going to do a little scouting mission first, <laughs> okay? We're going to play through, and we're going to play through a pacifist. We're not going to harm any plants. We're not going to let them know that we mean them any harm, okay? Okay, but I'm going to give them a warning. Also, we should use the uh, boosting spin jump badge, because that's the best badge. I currently have the bubble power up. Does the bubble power up kill piranha plants? Let me just test it. No, 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 no. Does it? It does. Okay. So we're going to need to decide between using the bubble power up or the fire flower power. So I have both. So I can either be fire or I can be bubble. 
Oh, that's annoying because I have two. I'm gonna lose one just so I don't have to constantly swap. Okay. So now I can just swap between fire or bubble depending on which one is best. Okay, now I will pacifist. So this is just a pacifist to show everyone the level. Oh yeah, pacifist kills. <laughs> well, I had to test that one. So this is Piranha Plants on Parade. So overall seems like an... Seems like a normal-ish level. I mean, you got these walking piranha plants. We've seen those in Mario before. Definitely a little new, but then we get to the Wonder Flower. And that's where this level... Yeah. <laughs> that's where this level captured our hearts. So, we can't take out those piranha plants down there. The big ones take three hits. And the little ones up there can get hit by the The hardest will be up there. Getting those ones. Maybe if I can. Nope. I'll wait for everyone to go down. Okay, so that was Piranha Plants on Parade. Regular. That was Pacifist Mar Piranha Plants on Parade. Okay. Now we got Rampage. I probably, I probably have the solution of how to get the top ones, but I don't want to share. You don't want to share? Well, you probably have to be Bubble to get those top ones. You probably have to be Yoshi, because Yoshi would have take damage when flying and can grab it. But can Yoshi eat them? Yoshi can eat piranhas. He can? Okay, we'll test it. We'll test it with Yoshi. I will be really sad. <laughs> Let's see. This might take a few attempts trying to get all the uh, trying to get all these piranha plants. Okay, you want to be Yoshi? Okay. You sure Yoshi can eat piranha plants? I, I think so. He I... couldn't in Yoshi's Island. Yeah, but he could in Mario Brothers. D um, Mario um, what was it called? We. Oh, you could? Let's see. Let's try it. Oh, you can. Okay, that's a game changer. You don't have to kill all the ones that aren't singing. We're just going to kill the singing ones. I know, but it's good. <laughs> We're just going to kill them all. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh! Get him! Ah, he got away. <laughs> okay, well, we're just trying to kill the singing ones. Oh, those ones keep spawning. So those are indefinite spawns anyway. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Time to be heartless. Ah! Ah, oh, we already lost! <laughs> okay. So we need those first few. Oh, that's funny, they stopped singing. <laughs> Boy, they <laughs> yeah, you don't hear them singing. How can they sing anymore if you kill them? <laughs> yeah, we can't get those ones, though. There we go. Oh, I should probably say that. Uh-oh! <laughs> oh, there we go. Got him. Oh. oh wow! Okay, we gotta do it again because we gotta get those. Like we gotta get those first few, and then I guess if we hit the wonder seed in time. <laughs> She's heard it before. <laughs> I, 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 she I've knows who she before. looks like. <laughs> She's you aware. You know what though? At least I didn't get the plastic surgery for it, so thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Wait, I'm not ready. <laughs> I just thought that comment was funny. Next we'll see if we can get all the piranha plants and piranha plant reprise. Nope. 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 No? Because there's too much going on. You both have to probably be Yoshi. We didn't give it a shot give it a shot. We won't put it in the final edit if it's not too easy. Alright. Ah! 
Ah! <laughs> That's the hardest part. It's just the first few. You just have to get the first few. That. I'm killing the babies. Alright, let's get him. Let's get these guys. Oh, that one didn't come out. I don't think that should count because he didn't spawn. Oh, really? Can yeah, we, we made him not spawn. <laughs> so he's still alive, he's just hiding. That's not the mission that Toby gave us. Like one baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We will you succeed in this mission. The babies. I hurt the babies. Why though. would you hurt the babies? This first one's really hard to get. I know it's possible. Though. Oh, one of them didn't spawn again. That's hard. Yeah, it is hard. Okay, so I'm gonna get that very first one, and you can get the the second one, and then I'll get the one on the end. So you get the middle two, and I'll get the ones on the sides. Okay. So that'll be that'll be your duty. All right. Get him. Probably would be easier with bubble. I'm gonna try with bubble. <laughs> okay, it's easier with bubble. <laughs> yeah, now you just have to get the last one. I can get I can get all three with okay. bubble. Yeah, actually bubble makes it a lot easier. And then I'll switch to fire for the last few. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Just the music playing. Oh! oh, we missed one. You missed one. We missed one. <laughs> you missed one. I'm not a part of this. Okay, we got a clear path. Clear murder path. I'm going to hurt Toadsworth after. Toadsworth's will cannot be questioned, all right? I am questioning his will. You're questioning his will? Yes. Are you questioning his competence as a general? Yes. I, I, I'm on Team Bowser. You're on Team Bowser? Never was on Team... <laughs> Dude! Quiet. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> he got away! As he should. Yeah, it's actually not that easy. Like, it's clearly possible, but it's not that easy. <laughs> Almost as strange as talking plants. Yeah. All right. I'm just so traumatized. <laughs> Sorry. Toes with orders. <laughs> botched. Botched. Oh, I botched it. A uh, botched job. Botched job right there. That looked awful. Did anybody even tell that the door is open? Yeah, there's a little bit of blackness behind oh. it. 
<laughs> too much. Oh no. What if somebody saw how to get through the void? How <laughs> to get through the void? No, I'm not carrying you. Get off me! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just following orders, okay? <laughs> how about orders? It's Toesworth's orders. To ride me? Like, no. Get off <laughs> your butt. Can't kill those down there. No! <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> it's really hard. It's actually not that easy to, to get all of them. Man, yeah, Piranha Plant Reprise would be a whole other thing. I'd like to see what is possible in Piranha Plant Reprise, if it can be done. I know those couple of fire ones up there, it would probably be crazy hard. Alright, we got it. Oh, I need, I need to turn. <laughs> They're harmonizing with no one, the mountains. <laughs> it's the ones on the ceiling that are hard to get. Okay, now we gotta get it, make him pop. All right, so we at least got the other one to run. Poof! We did it! We killed, we did it! We killed all the talking, singing piranha plants. We killed all the singing piranha plants. Now, you don't see that every day. Emily, are you, are you doing okay? <laughs> <laughs> Take that as a no. <laughs> we did it. We killed the piranhas. I don't like this thing. Now let's see if we can do it in piranha plate. With no. You already put me through much mental torture today. Toadsworth's orders. Toadsworth's orders. Toadsworth's orders. Why did I join the wrong side of history? I should have been on Bowser's party. <laughs> yeah, Bowser's the one who likes music. Yeah, and he's hotter. This one I don't even know is possible. I don't, or, I don't think it is. Or it's just like super hard. Maybe we'd have to like theorycraft how to actually get it. Return to the challenge. What would be impossible is if you had to knock out every bullet bill, but we'll just do piranha plants. Piranha plants and spikes. Anyone who's like singing. Oh, they start big. Okay, so they so I have to be fire. Yeah. La, la. Yeah, this one, this one's probably possible, probably like really hard. Or you may need like four players for it. Oh, they go down! Yeah, you need like four players. They just go away so fast. Wow, okay. We would have to theory craft this one. Yeah, look, there's all the guys down there. Wow, and they disappear immediately. Yeah, you need four players. 
Yeah, let's see if someone can do can do all of them. I mean, I'm already out of power ups, so I'm I'm kind of done. Ah! <laughs> You're doing a good job. Do yeah, getting them up choice? there. <laughs> I, I'm joining Bowser's army after this. <laughs> like. Toesworth is clearly the bad guy. Clearly. Like, think about it. They're just living in a natural habitat. And clearly they're advanced enough to, like, sing. Yeah. Like, like, you know... Like, like they might not be bad. <laughs> oh, I died. <laughs> oh. Oops. <laughs> Alright, well that's all the challenges I wanted to do. Yeah? Do you want to play anything, Em? No. Play any other games? I'm traumatized. You're traumatized? Do you want to play anything else on the Switch? Um... <laughs> no, I can't think of anything. No? No, are you done? Has the trauma gotten to you? No, it's not even that. The, um... You're too chicken for, for now. <laughs> I'm too chicken for FNAF. You want me to play FNAF? Yeah, but I feel like it's gonna scare you. <laughs> Look at you. Go get the cartridge. <laughs> Go get the cartridge. Well, did you rename the stream something like playing video games? No, I'm not renaming the stream. I, I just, it'll just be at the end of the Mario Kart stream. We'll just put it into, um... We'll just, video? we'll just make it into videos. Wow, you know? we're gonna be playing FNAF. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this... I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna put it into a separate video. Um, that's like, yeah, like, how many piranha plants can you kill, sort of thing. Yeah, at this point, we're just we're just getting footage to then edit in the other stuff. Pick um, your pick your poison. No, we gotta play the real one. <laughs> we played Security Breach. I, I, I Security we Breach. We haven't beat it completely. Security Breach wasn't scary. Okay, it was a little scary with Glamrock Freddy. That scared me. Oh, Glamrock Freddy scared you? Glamrock Freddy scared me, actually, because... Oh. Glamrock Freddy scared me because he's the one you don't expect to be scary. And then when he jump scared you because his eyes are purple. And I'm like... Like, what the heck? Will and Afton, I, I love you, but what? What is happening? Don't mess with my glam rock ready. Okay, so, um, apparently, so, uh, Emily has recommended, uh, this game, uh, that I've never heard of. Uh, apparently it's based on a movie? Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's? Five Nights at, Five Nights at Fredericks? I've I gotta be completely honest with you. <laughs> Five, Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, so it's like... So, so, so what is, what is this game about? What I, I've, I've just, I've, I'm not familiar with it. Has, uh, has okay, this been well, talked about? Okay, well, here, let, let me explain to you. Apparently this, this, this little, these, these, these little known streamers, someone named, um, someone named, someone named Market Pleer likes Markiplier. to play this game. And, um, and this other guy, yeah. Look, look, did this, did this is Freddy. That's Freddy too. That's Daddy Springtrap. Yeah. He's hot. I think there's this other guy who likes this game. His name is named. I think this guy, uh, Gamethan Theoryton. Um, I think he's a fan of you this, mean of this, this of this brand new game based on uh, the hit motion picture, um, starring the the guy from the Scooby Doo movies. Um, so Matt Lillard. So yeah. So we got the. Uh, so we got the guy from the Scooby Doo movies is uh, is in this, and um, uh, so apparently it's like a what it's like a it's like a fun game where warning I'm not reading the warning. Uh, apparently this is some fun game. It takes place in a pizzeria. Should we keep um, the volume this loud because it will get scary? You play with oh it gets scary? Why scary? Is this like is it's this a like just a scare game? scares? Oh I thought this was like um, I thought this was like a game. Where you where you run around uh where you run around like a McDonald's. No, that's and you security collect, breach. Which um 
Which one is Freddy? Is that Freddy? Am I Freddy? Who's Freddy? Okay. I am not ready for you to lose. I'm, I'm just... Okay. I'm Help scared wanted. to get scared. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Family. I didn't have enough time to read the thing! <laughs> Man, how can anyone keep track of what's going on in this game? Okay, how do I move around? Oh. What's that? The phone. Okay, that's pause. Oh. Oh, and I think every time you close the door, you use your power up. Oh, well, that's not good. Ow! Was that the jump scare? No. Because that scared me. <laughs> Wait, where, where's Scott? Where is Scott? Who's Scott? Is that Scott? Is that one Scott? No, the phone got me. Well, you screwed up already. I did. I think I heard Foxy. <laughs> Foxy? You heard Foxy? Already? No, it's out of order. Man, I'm terrified. No, because he goes down the halls. I don't... I don't know how I played this the first few times. I gotta say, I don't do well with games like this. What? What? I don't know. This was a mistake. I need to close it. That's <laughs> yeah. enough of that. Well, because I already heard little dum 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 dum. I thought this was a Mario Kart stream. Do I die? See, I can like watch all the jump scares in a row, but I don't think I can play the game. You know what? It is easier when you play it on the Switch handheld than on the TV. Do you just die if you like don't do anything, or you don't you don't die on the first night like at all, right? I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me. You wanna play something else? <laughs> It's not. You know which ones are really scary for me. What? FNAF one, and FNAF sister location and FNAF four. Yeah, I don't know why. I just can't, I can't handle it. I can't. I can't. It's really it. scary for me on a big TV. On on the handheld, I can play fine actually. Yeah, I'm also not like the biggest fan of the gameplay too. It's all like kind of just very like back and forth. That scared me. There's a car horn from outside. <laughs> Just like kind of like it's very like back and forth sort of stuff. Like I don't know, it just isn't very dynamic to me. Oh yeah, you're gonna prowl. I mean, you know, you can just do this and then just stay safe, and then Freddy would jump jump scare at you at the end. But at least you're gonna know when. <laughs> at least I'll know when it's happening. Yeah. Should we just do that? Should that just be our plan? No, it's just something else. You wanna play anything else? You wanna play Good Job? No. You don't want to play Good Job? No. No? No. Fortnite. <laughs> I don't know how to play Fortnite. <laughs> okay, you want to cut off? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Well, thank you for watching this Mario Kart stream. <laughs> and this attempt at my boyfriend playing FNAF. Yeah. See, I was, I'm scared because I could play it on my own. Mm -hmm. But I played on the handheld because it's like, okay, I can pause, go, pause, go, just like flip it. So mm -hmm. I don't, and I also play with the sound off. <laughs> That's a big thing. How uh -huh. I, like I play with the sound off. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.